Meshy. This name, I, I mean, it's meshy. I'm looking meshy. at this list of things and like, <laughs> yeah, there's some fucking shit. We on haven't here. been canceled yet, but here we fucking oh, go. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I mean, we we already <laughs> took some things away. <laughs> what is that like? What is that like? <laughs> Let's go home. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Um, we have a guest that is making his second time appearance, Mr. Manuel Manny M U A. And the grand premiere. And the grand premiere of Miss Laura Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The star-studded favorite guest, premium. We're so excited that you're here. Yes, thank and you Manny. so much. And Manny. <laughs> and Manny. <laughs> That's not right. I feel like yeah. You know Jeremy enough that you were like, oh, this isn't about me. No, 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 and no, no, that no, hype no. up right there. And tell me your name <laughs> one more time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A man he. It's the big bone bitches that we are. Oh, okay, got it. We are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We? I mean, tr- listen, I'm trying to get thick for the win. <laughs> tall <laughs> boy bitch. Up. Yeah. Well, mm. Tall boy what? Tall boy bone bitch. Tall, tall boy bitch. I thought tall that's what you called your bitch. boyfriend. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> cool. yes. Okay, but also, Manny's wearing a well till nine, honey. So I feel like. I feel. So, Sir, quite, was, was that, that me? Quite on set? Quite on set? <laughs> <laughs> was that, that me? me? That was like, what about, what about? So last time Manny was here, he was like pondering with the idea of potentially starting a podcast. Mm-hmm. And now here you are with you and your podcast co-host. He's well, literally but... and best friend in real life. Yeah, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> that for now, for now. Let's for see now. if they make it through. Yeah. For now, yeah. We, we've, well, been now We've been through worse. We've been through worse. <laughs> it worse. Much worse. Than a podcast. You know, having different, having what saved us really is having different angles for our, our good side. That's it what did. really saved oh, us. It did. That's compatibility. That's, that's the finest. one thing that that stayed we true. We said that we would have broken up a long time ago mm-hmm. if we didn't have if we had the same good side. Yeah, mm-hmm. we were just talking about yesterday how like I love pickles and he doesn't like pickles and <gasps> sandwiches like when Me. you go to a deli. That's us. And so yeah, it's the true test of compatibility. I mean, have you ever eaten a pickle? It's fucking. Gross. I'm, I'm just not a pickle person I at love, all. I love, I love pickles. Pickles. I love pickles. Love I feel pickles. like people either like they hate pickles or they fucking love right. them. Right, and no you got to find you got to find your pickle compatibility person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got yep. it. Yes. And, and also we both hate tomatoes. So we look like little children. I like Picking tomatoes. Our tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Laura's favorite food. It's my favorite food on earth. <gasps> tomato? Oh, a tomato. I eat them like apples. Like I eat a tomato a day. I don't know how she does it. I'm <laughs> obsessed Laura, with Laura, when I tell you that I will sit there with tweezers picking out every crumb of tomato out of a salad. Me and you need to eat together. Yes, <laughs> every <laughs> seed. We need to eat Between together. Between four of us, this would be, fa- a, not a, a speck would be wasted. Right, not everything would no, get eaten. No, 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 no. I'd be scarfing. <laughs> scarfing. Unhinge my jaw like an anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> Are we supposed to talk about food? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, got it. Oh my God, it was gonna be a chaotic episode. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so Manny and Laura reigned from the beauty side of YouTube. And Wait, how long have you both been on YouTube for? Mine's like eight years. Mine's seven. Seven years. Okay. 2014. How long have you been on? Uh, 2012. I think we're nine. similar. So yeah. nine. Yeah, nine, nine years. I know Jeremy? Little- Jeremy, how about you? Uh, huh? You know, I'm gonna get started soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. In our group chat, when you were talking about like what we want to talk about, just the three of us. That's mm-hmm. weird, group you, chat. You know what's funny? You know what, Jeremy? <laughs> No, 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 a group chat. When I tell you that Jeremy has exited every single group chat that I have Stop. ever put him in. Stop. Exited, like removes himself Removed from chat. Removed from group chat. Jeremy Just- Lewis has left the conversation. <laughs> doesn't get the privilege of being in the group chat to start with because he fucking exits. It makes yes. sense. The so audacity. You're on time out. You're, on time out. you're like, <laughs> I like the option to leave. So anyway, wasn't in the group chat because he wasn't invited because he will uninvite himself. And so Absolutely. I just don't invite him in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, I like to get the notification, hit the mute button on it. And then I just, I, I can check in when I want to. But it still leaves. Like, I feel like you're someone who clicks to clear all their texts. I do. And so it still leaves the red You do that? Though. You clear your text messages? I have to. Oh, me too. Oh me too. <gasps> do you, how many do you have right now? Look right now. How I many like do you a have? Lot. I, what? Six, I don't know I have how much nine. I would have. But I, I, don't, I have zero. Like I clear everything. Like on zero. red, you mean? Zero. Zero. Like on red? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Or you do you mean like, like do you have having... some that you haven't read yet? Oh no, of course not. Okay, then you clear them. Oh wait, no, I thought clearing them, you mean like deleting threads. Oh God, no, oh. No, never, no, 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 never. You guys, you scared me. That's what I thought you meant. That's what I thought you meant. I was like, why the fuck do you clear all of yours. I mean, that's weird. No, no, no. no. I just meant like like opening a message so the notification mm-hmm. okay. goes away. Mm-hmm. 
It's like screaming at you otherwise, right? Yeah, absolutely. That, yeah. I, I never have unread messages. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. I gave up on my yeah. inbox. I gave up. Oh, yeah. Text. Oh, yeah, inbox. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, we don't yeah. care about oh, her. Yeah. We don't Thousands. care about her. Yeah. 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 I, it's, I've just said it, it's just a spam folder. Yeah, all it of it. Is. I'll get to it when all I get to it. it. Yeah. All of yeah. it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. have I. I mean, 100%. at any point in time, an email goes by, I miss it, and some rant, like, oh, no, what am I? It's never happened. Like, hey, sorry I missed you. Oh, hey, what's up? All good. <laughs> Literally. No pressing ad. Doesn't all. fucking Ever. matter. No. Ever. In Gmail, I use like the little star thing to Eat. like, and Ooh, as, uh, if, as if, as you're gonna if, as if that I'm going to go back to the star <laughs> folder. But in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm so responsible. I'm, I'm such really a good remember. business I'm gonna go woman. Back to that. Like this is the important shit. You and think we had a mail sponsor right after this? Like, like a Gmail sponsor was right after this? <laughs> <laughs> with how we started off on this topic. But You're there right. isn't one. We're no, sorry. We like yeah. yeah, but there is. And there, Google, there's a place. We are one? available. Fuck it. Microsoft. We are we're available. available. Blackberry. Fuck we're Yahoo. Uh -huh. Blackberry. We saw the flip phone. Razor, Guys. razor phone. We're available. <laughs> I still have a razor. I'm not kidding. In the room next to us, there is a razor cell phone. Can you right, imagine we're the three pixel nudes that are on that thing? <laughs> oh, oh my, my no God. idea. So it's like just three pixels. Just <laughs> you is have that no different body idea. Or is that? <laughs> Who is that? That'd be Kind of fucking fun. You, you could leak the shit out of those ones. Yeah, like, Man. that's not her. <laughs> you're like, we don't know no. what that even is. <laughs> no. Nobody what is that? <laughs> so you're five episodes in? We're, We're five, five episodes in? in so your pros. coverage. Your pros. We're pros. I think if you do something five times, it makes you professional. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure I heard five that somewhere. On the internet? Apps four Ab more times than you need to. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, definitely yeah. on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, but it's, it's going really, really well. We really like it actually. It's like a fun outlet because I feel like our channels are kind of niche. Kind of like, well, your vlog channel, I watch you a mm -hmm. lot. I'm kind of a fan. I'm like <laughs> holding back. I, I watch your podcast a lot too. It's, it's a fine, it's okay. I like your <laughs> vlog channel the most though. Oh my God, thank you. I'm into it. Um, you do a lot, by the way. I'm really impressed. I'm like, God damn it. How does she do all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> like it's when I tell you like this week specifically, I'm drowning in my own life. That so makes me happy. Hearing that though, makes me feel, makes me feel excited about the fact that someone at least acknowledges that I'm dying. It's working. I do, Cause yeah, I'm in working. like the industry with you. So I'm like, okay. I'm like adding, I'm like, she's doing like a lot. And like, it makes me happy to know you're drowning because now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, no, it's not a breeze. Yeah. It's not a breeze. It's not an easy breezy now, beautiful cover like, girl. Oh yeah, girl. Like it's fun. Like I just like do I whatever. Roll out of bed at oh, 10 that old thing. Uh, yeah. Whenever I get around to it. I was scared she was going to say that to me. I'd be like, damn, no, 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 no. I'm no, 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 okay. I'm drowning. I like to do way too much too. But anyways, I feel like our channels are really niche. So I feel like that podcast is like an outlet to get to talk about like anything and everything. Yeah. I feel like deeper. we talked about that last time too. Cause I was like, oh Minnie, like you're so good on Instagram because on stories you just like chat like a vlog yes. because you don't vlog. Yeah. And so I feel like this just gets to be like a much longer format of that. That's exactly how I feel. I feel like when we're doing our, like the podcast, it literally just like, I'm talking to my best friend and we're just having like a shoot of the shit conversation. Yeah. And I feel like that's why people like it and they appreciate it mm -hmm. because it's like, oh, we're like, we're just joining in on a conversation rather than it being like some awkward ass. Oh my God, interview like, or something. Inter yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's trying to, no, I mean, some people are trying to do interviews, but that's just I mean, not, there's, there's a time and place. Exactly, I was like, that's, there's a time and place. But that's not like what we're going for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that feels like work. Interviewing exactly, is work. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like, let's just shoot the shit and chill. Uh -huh. I was like, go to TV. Go do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the super produced mm -hmm. stuff. It's like go go to traditional shit where you can listen to a commercial every seven seconds. Like, ah, I can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, no. this like looks insanely amazing. Like your area is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm it's really so jealous. Nice. Okay, so okay, I saw the preview that you posted on Instagram though of your set and I'm excited. It's better. I, I mean, it's definitely better. better. <laughs> it's better. Where, than the tablecloths? Yes, than the tablecloths. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought we had murdered people for that tablecloth. I know. Oh my God. People you know, are riding we, in the street. Yeah, they were had picket fences for, for the anti, yeah for I'm the tablecloth. And I missed the tablecloth thing. Walk me back. Got it. Tell them. So you decided to use tablecloth? No, no, no. So no. we were, <laughs> we were <laughs> originally <laughs> filming at Studio Seventy One Studio. <laughs> okay. And so they just have like tablecloths on the table that are like this fleece towel They're material. They're not tablecloths. They bought Amazon they look blankets. They bought Amazon fleece blankets, <laughs> didn't even steam the creases out of them. And then they were on, just sitting on the yeah. table. I like just they, wanna know what man is in charge of this studio? Yeah. <laughs> like, what straight Maybe male? Even you got me, it. I'm like, you got oh no, it. I'm mean with an iron. Mean. Okay. A steamer. It's because Back in the fraternity days, you had to like iron your Ralph Lauren. You were in a fraternity? Like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. President, so like president of the fraternity. Had, the collar Hold had to be on. right. What? <laughs> Laura's very shook by Okay, this. okay, wait, wait, but Laura, let me let me paint the picture for I you. I need more. So frat president, but also on a full ride scholar. No, not full ride. 
It was one of my many music scholarships. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Like basically a full ride scholarship for also singing in an acapella quitch situation. Jeremy sings very fucking well. I'm going home. It's actually shocking. I have no talent and I'm going home. (laughs) Like like pitch perfect and then put Jeremy on stage on an NBC show for a hot minute of competition. (gasps) In Vineyard Vines. But also with whoa, whoa, whoa. the t shirt. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so we're starting to dance. Wow. That's him. You have lived a life. I've Several. never lived many. Many lives. Many lives. Many lives. Many many lives. lives. That's why I'm so fucking tired. Fast <laughs> Understandable. It's, yeah. the, it's the frat, good, baby. Yeah. It's the frat. The frat got you good. I will say the other like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I, it, it was coming off a complete all nighter. Hadn't slept in like 48 hours. And someone was like, you know, Jeremy looks pretty good with like um, not having any sleep for two days. I was like, thank you. Wow. Thank you. you look good with that weight. I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that. Like that. <laughs> you look really good with that. Extra 10 pounds. You're like, see, huh? see, that's how you I. Wear Wait, well. You were so well. I said this to Lauren the other day. I was like, actually, I think I'm made for YouTube. I don't do it, but because I look at comments like that, I'm like, how nice. Whereas like Lauren would look at them and be like, oh my God, that's so mean. What a back, <laughs> what a back. And, and every compliment. negative comment, I'm like, I could see why you thought that. Obviously you're not correct, but it's fine. I'm just like always looking to the best of myself. You're I'm made like, for YouTube. The I'm confidence like, you're made. dripping. You're yeah. Made. yeah, I can't stand me. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Wow. God, what's it like? <laughs> yeah. What's it like to like? love yourself? <laughs> What's it like about depression? <laughs> Wait, so and, and, and are you fraternity? Was it did that surprise you? It's so surpri- she's from Alabama. Yeah. Oh, I can hear it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. You? Okay. Oh my god. Ta- yeah. Really? You're from a different planet. As, like, as a Canadian, you are from a oh, different true. planet yeah, to me. What are your thoughts <laughs> on sweet tea? Oh, baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't even know what good sweet tea is. That's huh? right. I didn't think so. Where are you from? <laughs> well, see, I'm from <laughs> Illinois, but I eventually got to the south. Did you? Well, I didn't go to, oh. I wasn't in a fraternity in the north. Where were you See, fraternity at? I would assume no. University of Kentucky. Oh, that yeah. is the south. It, 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 was the, it was the closest yeah. south to me. Did you have sweet tea? Of course. Canes was my like introduction okay. to it. And then I was uh, like, and then I would like, I would good. brag about that. And then the moms would go, well, if you really like sweet tea. Well, that's and what I didn't know it was like, they would make it super hot and then they make it cold. It's, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole thing. That's how you do it. Uh-huh. The hot Wait, you make sweet tea? Oh my, well, of mm-hmm. course. Okay, so when we do the podcast. I lived in Alabama <laughs> yeah. for 25 years. I want to be able to have a, a glass this big. <laughs> yeah. When it's you come to our, on ours, I'll make yeah, it for absolutely. both of you. We'll have seven potty breaks. It'll be fantastic. I don't think I've ever had actual sweet tea. <gasps> what? Oh. I think you'd actually live. Vanny loves it. Like, I was like, no, I'm not going to like it. And mm-hmm. then I tried it. I was like, oh, wait. So I'm what like, it's, I'm it's not, okay, I, don't, I feel what do you mean? like. It's like black I, wait, tea? Wait, okay, wait, I'm really tea? It's not, it's not, it's different than, I'm, I feel, I'm really scared to say this. It's different than iced tea, correct? Yes. But it's in that vein, like it's in that same journey. So it's, it's in, in that journey. same journey. It's in that journey. It's, it's in literally street, black. Yeah. I'm excited to go on the journey with you. Yes. That's all. Yes. Okay, me too. Yes. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm open to new things. You, but the problem is this. She's going to go, she's going to try and go, mm, it's good. I'm like, what? Huh? Well, what there's a shit ton of like sugar in it, right? Like it. Yes. Uh, do you yeah. you'll like sugar? it? I love sugar. You'll oh, love it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, I think, I think. I maybe have had it once in North Carolina. Do you know what's wrong with it here? Everybody wants to put a fucking fruit in it. Stop mm. putting peaches and black, like, no. Yeah. no and, and then you'll ask for a sweet tea and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll bring it to you. And you're like, you don't want to address that it's packed full of fruit. Like right. you don't want to say, well, it's peach tea. This mm. is not sweet tea. The peaches that make it sweet. The sugar it, does. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. I get it. So the frat thing, it shocked me only because like I've experienced Southern frats and I'm like, they don't act like you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I was like, wait, what? To be We've fair, come a long way. I, me too, though, me too. Is, okay, yes, 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 yes. The map yeah. Yeah. The group chat, I don't remember that. And you don't look like you're in a fraternity. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I appreciate that. You Thank don't, you. don't, so uh-huh. I was like, wow, well, interesting. You know, eventually you have to grow up. Some don't, They but, do. you know. <laughs> like you're the glory years or the frat years, it seems like you're thriving See, now. No, I loved Absolutely. my fraternity days. Of course. Do I want them again? No. Oh, you grew right. up. Yeah. That's so Look nice. Look at you. That's you so nice. I like this. This is my favorite. Um, my only my experience- life. Like that's fucking right. She's like, uh uh-huh. That's what I fucking be. 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 I am a monster. Like very that. I would have never <laughs> thought that. <laughs> that's what it was. Oh my God, you're so right. Everyone is- <laughs> Everyone listening to this podcast is hard to re- like already replace their car speakers three times. <laughs> oh, you, you know they're going down, up, down, they're up. So, so like, let me back away from the. Oh, like, 
They're like, figure it out, guys. Oh my God. That's funny. Woo! Okay, so <laughs> my plan for today's podcast. So Manny and I always talk about how we are like the drama hoes. And by drama hoes, I mean yes. the ones that know about we the drama. We know what's going on. We know what's going on. We keep the we finger on the, the pages, pulse. Yes, all yes. that. The watch the Tiki Talks. Yes. We watch the Tiki Talks. Like we see it. And we see it. And we are, you know, we're just, we're silent bystanders for the mm-hmm. most part. Mm-hmm. And um, Jeremy- Are we getting into drama today? Oh, baby, we get in into <laughs> drama. I've always wanted to be a drama channel. We're just yeah. covering things. We're just covering things like the news. I will say every time I see a channel or a podcast or anything where it's like, we just talk about what's already happening. I'm like, genius. <laughs> Smart. Fucking yeah, yeah. Your genius. topics for the day covered. Yeah, also, literally. Like, in the world things we live in, have just been fucking covered. throw a dart. Someone's being stupid. Oh, well, yeah. like I'm nervous because this is coming out in like five days and I'm like the fucking headlines in five days are gonna be completely different. Yeah, true. It's true. The it's tea, the tea. Like, the tea. Tea. tea is evergreen. It's tea fine. Is evergreen. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And Sweet some of these, some of these yeah. topics I feel like too have been tea forever because uh-huh. it's just people who stay teeing. Got it. Mm-hmm. So yes. it's- The tea yeah. is teeing. The tea is teeing. While it's teeing. Mm-hmm. While teeing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stay teeing. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> um, okay, but I want to start with something that I know you'll be excited about. Go ahead. So Tyrone Woodley I'm in. got the I love Jake Paul tattoo. I saw it. Did you see it? Did you see where it is? It's like, bam. No, uh, no, it's on the inside of his middle finger. Oh, okay. That's which funny. makes sense, That's right? Funny. That's funny. I love that it's there. I didn't I know like, that it was on the inside yeah. of the middle <laughs> finger. Okay. And also Genius. it'll for sure wear off. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, finger tattoos oh, yeah. are. Yeah. Okay, my te- I had a teacher in English and like in, in English, what the fuck? Of course I didn't. <laughs> Not a very good one. <laughs> in, <English. laughs> in, high school, yes. <laughs> in high school, he was my English teacher. Bro, that fucking gun, <laughs> it's scanning. Um, <laughs> but no, <it's> just, <laughs> Manny, how did we drink before teacher, that? <laughs> shout out Can. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, so my teacher, he's like, I got a tattoo of an eye in the bottom of my foot, and like, because I knew it was gonna disappear when I was nineteen, like, just as a joke. He takes off his shoe <gasps> and his sock, and he's like forty, and the eye's still there. Like, and they like always clean say and precise. The, yes, like only like a, a little bit, like the corner was gone. Yeah, wait, like so an eye or is there an eye? An eyeball. Oh, weird. Oh, an I hate eyeball, that. like a, with a blink, like with the flashes and everything. At nineteen, he goes, "This is a good idea." I don't know, maybe it was like, a, I must've been like a joke or something like that, but he showed us and that only little bit was gone. And he's like, this was supposed to leave after like a couple of years. Cause that's what everyone says. And I was like, oh shit. So then maybe it wouldn't disappear fully. I have three friends that have lip tattoos because the same thing they were told that it'll just go away. Mm-hmm. It'll just dissolve eventually. All three of those lip tattoos still going strong. Scientific fact, the dumber the tattoo, the longer it stays. Um, mm. I actually can confirm that. <laughs> So can Jeremy, so can Jeremy, I I have hard evidence. I won't be confirming anything, but if you want to tell a story. I don't, but I just can (laughs) confirm that if you get a tattoo around the age of 18 without Mm. any brain cells, It'll be with you for like, it's never gonna fade. Not yep. even slightly. Like it's not even gonna like, it's like gonna be Laura, perfect. Tell us, oh, tell us. Come on. Laura, tell us, you have to. Oh my God. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy has an equally fucking stupid one. That'll make you specifically scream. I hope okay. so. I have a tramp stamp. What is up? What is it? Okay, listen. So when I was 18, like on my 18th birthday, I'm like, I know oh, what I'll do. Okay, yeah, huh? I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll get a fucking stupid tattoo that I don't want after like six months after getting it. Genius. Right. It's a Bible verse. What, Philippians 4, 13? <laughs> Your audio. John mm. 3, 16, close. What? Um, Forgot uh, to love the world. I still know the Bible verse, thank God. I I I am, listen, I still love Jesus. I love God. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't need a tramp stamp of it. (laughs) I gotta be honest. If I I Jesus, damn it. I just don't need him above my ass every single day of the rest of my little life. Manny, if you were um, (laughs) lost it, uh, you know, Mm. finding relations with someone for the first time, Mm -hmm. and you just flip them around, and then Mm -hmm. like John three sixteen staring right back at you. (laughs) Would you feel unholy? I would would, would slap him back. Me too, John. Unbothered. <laughs> Still here. I'm like, here too, John. He's like, he's like, it's Mark. Yeah, you too. <laughs> John, you and I, baby, we're together tonight. <laughs> we got this, John, and we high five. I think we offended about half the audience, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Oh my God. That's, oh, that's so good. Funny. That's a Bible verse tramp stamp. Who is with you? Um, Like all of my best girlfriends. Their fault. All of their fault. Uh-huh. Their yeah. fault. None of this is it's my not fault. You. It's no, it's them. your fault too, but their fault too. <laughs> yeah. You know. Did you get other tattoos after that? Uh, not one. So that's the only one you I, have. It fucked me up for my life. <laughs> it was like, I'm good. And it's not even like that small either. Oh <laughs> Why couldn't you have gotten a fucking-
fucking butterfly. Tell me, tell me when. <laughs> tell, like me when an, tell me no, when. Tell me when. Tell me when. Go in. Go in. Go in. Her in. back's not that fucking big. <laughs> well, maybe it's a wraparound. Maybe it's a wraparound. I don't know. Like a fucking belt. I don't have my belt. Let's <laughs> like a belly chain <laughs> tattoo. How do you say it's like that? Okay, but that's not it's, a small person. But it's too. not bad though. It's not. It could be worse. I yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. Why was that was that was me. Yeah. The moon on my finger. Yeah. Like, why did they do that? Uh, Jeremy, would you like to announce your? Yeah. Would you like to show and tell? Please. Show and tell. You're up next. Yeah, just my fucking ex's like initials on my hand. On your yeah. hand? Don't Man give Manuel, people's not today. names and initials. <laughs> that's like that's number, like rule one number one rule. This motherfucker. Here's Dude, the thing. even I wasn't that stupid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she has a Jesus <laughs> trap <trapster>. stamp. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you still win. And you still win. I gotta be honest, I'd rather have my ex's <laughs> initials. You know what, John 316? Can, can you imagine if like the first time we hooked up, you just like, you saw my back and you're like, what, <laughs> what, is, what, is, what is this? Honestly, I forget it's there all the time because you don't ever <laughs> see your car back. Oh, so that's easy for you then. It, it makes it easier yeah. to accept. I often have lied and said, oh no, I don't have any <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> No. And you bend no. over like, ah. I'm, I'm pure. And then you just write that person off. <laughs> yeah. Forever. Like, and Forever. Uh, this is how close we get. Yep. And then, okay, can I see it? Well, you can't, I mean, you can. Is it like fading? Uh, so this is oh, two. Okay. okay. He's okay. done two removal sessions. Okay, God. I was like, whoa. I was like, that faded yeah. like crazy. Okay. When we so started, first started dating, else. we. Oh, <laughs> there's that. <too. laughs> Go on. <laughs> Oh no, I'm like, bitch, fade out to dark. Like, just fade to black, <laughs> baby. Be, listen, we can get in trouble for this podcast, but we're not doing that fucking level of trouble. <laughs> right, we haven't even gone to the tea portion of the podcast. Right. Oh my Still God. the intro. Um, Fuck, you threw me off. So what I was gonna say is that after we met, a month later for Christmas, he asked for tattoo removal sessions for oh Christmas. Oh my God. Is yeah. that cute? And they say romance is dead. <laughs> See? <Yeah. laughs> I was like, I think this definitely something that it's very like, look at this chapter is closing and I want to start a new chapter. That's that's so like, awesome. I see it. And I'd like you to take part of me lasering off yes. the last memory that mm. she could possibly yeah. fucking just, just laser yeah. off of my skin. Every piece of it. And by the way, it's the most painful fucking spot to just shoot a laser to. So it's just like, how do you think <laughs> the lower back would feel? I feel like you could it just- It might be okay. I think it'd be okay. There's more skin. I'm so scared, but they said, cause it's like just black ink and they said that that fades the best. So yeah. I'm like considering it. Oh yeah, do it. <sighs> I didn't oh, for even the think about you getting it. I didn't even think about that. You totally yeah, should. I heard it hurt so bad. Um, I'm a pussy. You literally just said that you're <laughs> like- it's a, it's a bitch, yeah, yeah it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. You but know, know what it hurts. Reminds you of your bad decisions. It's, it's, just, so it's literally just pay saying, for it. don't be in dumbass. And that's the, that's, yeah. it's pain. It's like slap it's on the like, wrist, but just in a get. laser form. Yeah. Or the lower back. Yeah. Or the lower back. Yeah, the lower back. It's the big one. <laughs> we all have mistakes, it's fine. Kind of a commitment. It turned out okay. Yeah. Well, you know. We'll get to it. Okay, yep. baby, let's get messy. Let's get messy. Okay, so Tyrone Woodley let's, gets his tattoo. Okay, okay. That's um, how I was, I was like, where did we get where here? Did we yeah, get okay. Okay. Oh, I love you, Jake Paul, Tyrone Woodley gotcha. with the tattoo. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, you know what though? He, I thought that he wasn't gonna do it at first. And I was like, don't be a bad sport. That's you gotta like, be, yeah, you gotta yeah. do it. That's like you be a said biatch. you would do it. You said you would do it. Yes. Now go do it. And he actually and did. did. What a great spot to do it though. I will say like, that's genius. I would have done it in my pretty lip. big though. I would have done it on my lower back. <laughs> oh, yes, the covering, absolutely. <laughs> Imagine you just keep layering other like fucking bad no, things on your you back. Just cut, you cover up John. I love I cover up. Jake Paul. I love <laughs> Jack. With red. 316. Just red. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my, oh my God. I, want, I would do it on one on each ass cheek. Just we found I a love. solution. That's where you would do yours. Where would you do yours? Um, if you lost a fight. I lost Jake's a fight. Property. Oh, why did it be Jake's property? Oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that makes me want to throw myself <laughs> off of a very <laughs> tall structure. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe like, I want to be like, I'm thinking of like what, like what places will just go away? Like what a knee pit tattoo do you think? Would that just like fucking go away eventually? Cause you kind of sweat there. Put it in like I your armpit. It would fade. Oh, armpit. You got armpit? armpit. Armpit. I don't think it's gonna fade regardless. Man, Coachella or anything, man? Like any yeah, peace that's signs? True. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Peace I'm signs. thinking inner lip for real, because then like, yeah. you know. It's also, all my friends who have that said it's not painful. They said it's a, like a weird sensation, oh. but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but anyone who's entering uh. into that scenario has a different level of 
just about everything. Right. Every, got it. Their, <laughs> night, their night is going differently. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you ever feel like anything? Home, Babe, look what I got. Lauren. You're like, what the fuck? What happened? What do you mean? Let's go. <laughs> You're like, actually, I insist. Wild till nine. The ne- it's, the, it's the next gift for Christmas. It's Listen, the next gift, yeah. If Wild Tonight ever makes a billion dollars, I'll tattoo that thing anywhere we want. Yes, Whoa. yes. Oh, fucking the a receipts. billion. Great. The, the receipts, receipts, baby. Yeah, no, I made a stupid ass fucking like commitment of like, once we get 10,000 on TikTok a long time ago, well, no fucking shit, we're gonna get that. <laughs> um, so I'm shooting to the stars next yeah. time. A billion yeah. now. Yeah. A billion. Listen, and yeah. we have to pick the spot yeah. you guys. You guys Fool that. me once we make a billion dollars. <laughs> get me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, what a sacrifice! <laughs> oh no. But you know what? If if we for whatever reason that happened, you'd be like, "Fuck!" You would still be mad. You'd still be, you would still be mad. Yes. Why do nine tattoo? I don't see the problem. All right, Tyrone. What else you got? I thought it was Tyrone. 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 Tyron. I think it's Tyron. I think it's Tyron too. Tyron. Lannister. Tyron Lannister. Tyron mm. Lannister. Oh, it's Tyron Lannister. Yeah. That's it. That's yep. it. Yeah. Okay. This is something that you guys covered not too long ago. Was like family channel stuff. Oh, I, Cause Lord. I feel like there's so much meshy shit. Meshy. This name, I, I mean- It's meshy. I'm looking meshy. at this <laughs> list of things and like- Yeah, there's some fucking shit We on haven't here. been canceled yet, but here we fucking oh, go. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, and like. we, we already took some things <laughs> away. What's that like? What is that like? <laughs> To go to bed at night and not have trauma. What is that? <laughs> and you just like pose? Like I said, I look, at every, nigga, I look at every comment and I go, you're correct or mm. you're obviously not correct or mm. you're correct. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Very Woo! matter of fact. I, I, haven't, I haven't been canceled before, so I'm- Well, well there's still time. There's still time. There's still time. There's yeah. time. Why don't you just make a bullseye t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Cancel me. <laughs> Ace family. All right, let's go. Oh, so I feel like something that's been buzzing around forever is like this whole fo- house foreclosure thing. Yeah. And so you know someone who- Yes, John. John, Katie is a beauty guru. Okay. And her husband, John, he's like, kind of always done this little like news stuff. Little microphone. Like little a tiny mi- baby I microphone. love the big microphone. It's so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. And so he like went to the live auction. He actually researched so much information. Live auction? Live today's, auction. Today's live auction. Yeah. He was there was an auction. Live, he was live of the house. Like, at, like doing an Instagram live of it. Of their $20 million house where they fused two houses. Two houses. Two unnecessary, unnecessarily houses uh-huh. together to make one mega mansion. Mega mansion. I'm shocked they didn't sell that on pay-per-view. Literally, well, right. so someone should have bought the rights so to that. Up, so they end up canceling it and they're like, we'll come back on the 12th. So John explained <laughs> that with house auctions, cause they auction them off when they're in foreclosure, you can do all kinds of little tips and tricks to get them delayed. So he was like, it's probably gonna be delayed since this is the first schedule auction. Oh. So he was saying like, basically normally a house auction, they'll do like three or four scheduling because the people try to do anything they can to stop it from happening. So right. obviously, but the thing that kills us is like anytime the Ace family's asked about it or is brought up, they're like, they're like, our house is in foreclosure. what are you talking about? <laughs> What does foreclosure mean? As if there's not a, a, an <laughs> army of teenagers who want nothing more than to find out exactly but also, what so the auction's about. Is foreclosure public information? Yes, yes. absolutely. That fucking sucks. Also, the credit's <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. Can't just Jerry Jr. yourself out of that one. Yeah. It's public <laughs> records, baby. Yeah. You cannot tear yourself out of that. You can't. Oh my God. 20 yeah. million is a lot of fucking First money. First of all. Dude, that's like ridiculous. Like, who why, who needs that? Who the fuck does that? Like why? I don't even care if I have a billion dollars. I promise you I'll put it on a uh, video, I will not buy a $20 million house. Five billion dollars, no one no one will ever hear me from me again. I will be <laughs> so Honestly, here. Same. I'll have an island. Same. Yeah, yeah. Dis- no, 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 with no. his here. wild till nine tattoo <laughs> on an island. Yes, <laughs> on an island only. With my hot girlfriend somewhere enjoying life. Oh no, bitch, I better be a wife with a fucking ring. I was gonna say, ring. by the way, I a ring. Trust me, I assure you, you'll be the one that makes the billion, so I will for sure be marrying that. <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah, yeah, I'll be like, can I get you another drink, ma'am? <laughs> yeah. What would you like? Yeah. Pina colada, please. <laughs> yeah. Pina no colada. Okay. Yeah, so when I saw them do like the Mega Mansion thing, I watched the beginning, um, cause I used to like, you know, tune in from time to time mm-hmm. to see what the ACM was doing. Cause I think they're very like- Polarizing. Polarizing. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's a really nice way Thank of just- Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm good with those kind of words. Yes, that was a good <laughs> word. And so they bought two fucking giant ass houses, mm-hmm. tore them both down mm-hmm. and used that Got property it. to build like a mega mansion. Yeah. They have a ton of land too. That's- why they do Well, they used why? to. Yeah, they used to. <laughs> yeah, why yeah. the bank does. That, though. The bank does. Yeah, I, it doesn't make sense. And everybody's like in the comments, like they should sell their cars to pay their mortgage. And I'm like, you realize they're all leases, right? <laughs> like they don't own those cars. And those mortgages are probably like on like a twenty million. Okay, what do you like think? A, yeah, what do you think a twenty million dollar mortgage is a month? If we had to rest, uh, roughly estimate that, um, um, I swear it'd wait, be around like wait, fifty. I think it'd be. A, 
I think it'd be closer to 150. I do too. Yeah. I do too. A 30 year mortgage would probably be $150,000 right? a month. And most of that's interest for the first eight years. But Austin's also being sued for a shit ton of money. Like, yeah, yeah. with the social uh, glove stuff. Social yeah. Glove, yes. We're not yeah, paying like, freaking and not paying those people. At a certain point in time, it's like you can't really get water out of a rock. So it's like, mm-hmm. You're oh, just okay. fucking bankrupt. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like right. just file for bankruptcy. Right. And everyone's Where fucked. did their money go? Right. Well, insurance will just sit there and just go like, no, not that too. And, and they'll just be sued to fucking hell. I'm just like <clears> so <throat> interested to see, like, I wish we could see like the corporate structuring of all of their business to see oh their money gets so funneled. Bad. I because they have well, that I can tell like- you right now, when it goes, when the bankrupt gets done, Everyone gets to see it. Really? Oh, shut I, up. I think so. I, mean, drama I don't know about cha- The real sure, drama yeah. channels and not our drama channel for a day is going to have <laughs> a field day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because they have that like Bananas Monkey brand or whatever that I see in thrift stores all the time I don't know now. What that is. It's is that like, like this, a baby brand? No, no, no. Sounds it's like a, baby. they tried to like make like a hype beast brand, I think. Oh. oh. Or monkey bananas, banana monkeys. And then Catherine has her skincare brand. And then the skincare yeah. brand, which yeah. is also being soon, I heard. Are you kidding? <laughs> do they do anything? <laughs> like, I mean, I know I fuck up sometimes. No, for sure. Right. I'm gonna get John crazy. 316 right fucking here like, before that's the, happening. Right, uh-huh. exactly. Uh-huh. Like my fuck ups are more like a bad tattoo at 18. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, well, well, maybe I'm making up rumors. Fuck, hang on, let me double check this. <laughs> You're like, let me check this. And also like, yeah. maybe unpopular question. Are the kids okay? What's going on with those? Are they all right? That wow. is like, see, that's like where we trailed off in our podcast when we talked about <laughs> kids like getting swimming. Cause like what's gonna happen like when these kids were in all your videos and they were doing all this stuff and mommy and daddy got bankrupt and there's no money left for the kids ever. And not only that's like all public. Right. And also and it wasn't public. like, it wasn't like they had an ounce of privacy, right? Like literally oh, kids? Oh no, no, right. never, None. never. And how old are they? Never. Like way too young to be. Mm-hmm. Once like an infant. All right, well, I won't, infant, com- I won't like comment four. on anybody's kids, regardless of how much I disagree with just about everything, but, but like, they've fuck had, that like, sucks for them. They've had like their share yeah. of like videos that they don't edit properly, where they're like trying to force their kid to like do a specific reaction or mm-hmm. do something on camera that they want. Cause there was that one family that just mm-hmm. went viral with that yep. one clip where she was yep. taking, I think I showed this to you. She was, something had happened with their dog, some kind of like incident. Yeah. Um, and she, her kid was like actually upset, like actually crying. And she was trying to get him to pose for a thumbnail. And she was like, act sad, act sad, stay like this, be like this, pose like this. And he was like, I'm actually crying. I'm actually, crying. like he was the young. The kid was? But the yeah. kid had like the wherewithal <laughs> to be like, no, I'm like actually sad right now. Like I'm not out here faking it for your fucking thumbnail. Yeah, yeah I just, that's so foreign. Yeah, that's yeah. So, totally so, it's, it's, so yeah, foreign. It's, yeah, that's what we're like. Maybe it's like, because all of the it's moms strange. that I grew up with were like were Midwest, where that would be just not a thing. Totally. Yeah. And maybe it'll be more normal. I, hopefully it's not more normal when I know more moms in California do, that are doing that shit, but like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's not even just in California, honestly. It's it's a lot in the other states too, where it's like, not that it's regulated at all. And I feel like you guys touched on this too, is that mm. there needs to be so much more structure. Cause like child actors, they have so many like structure. limits and rules and school has to be, mm-hmm. and it's a whole thing. But I feel like kid YouTubers, it's so new. It's just like such a dangerous territory that is like unregulated. Yeah, absolutely. That's like mm-hmm. what's, that was why we had the whole, the whole, did the whole episode. It was like, it's, <laughs> there needs to be regulations. Yeah, but yeah. good luck getting anything in America passed of like how you should raise your kids. Oh my God. Well, it oh, almost should just sure. be like, like you know the I mean? money thing too. Like if your kids are like an actor in your your Law. content, like a certain percentage of the content should be going into Absolutely. a thing that they can't touch until they're 18 I think that's or whatever. Like the, the, our biggest thing. Because now the away. Ace family, what the fuck are all those kids gonna get after right. all these years of being like- Exploiting them. them. Yeah. They get nothing. I know, that's so that's scary. That's why it's like, dude, shouldn't they have like their own little mini account that they can access later on? Yeah, yeah right. I would almost, if I was the kid, I'd almost like want to, at le- I would almost want everyone to know I didn't get all that shit. And it's like, I can start over. And I don't need to like, like have yeah. that attached to me. Yeah, and it's like, no, no, no. I, as you can see, didn't get any of that shit. So like mm. pass me on that. I made my own path. A yeah. little nest egg at 18 wouldn't be the worst thing to ever happen I mean, listen, though. I wouldn't need that either. But they, <laughs> they, 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 have the, they, have, they have the choice to like, like play I love it. Like being like, old, I'm like, like, wow, I would have loved that. I'd be like, I'm so fucking pissed. These losers burned off all our <laughs> fucking money. I had nothing. That should have been mine. That would have been nice if it attached to me, but a Birkin will do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we are back with one of our favorite sponsors, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. When I was in the worst part of my anxiety journey, the last thing that I wanted to do was leave the house and sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. The vibes in a waiting room are just like, they're, they are not, they're not good. Well, BetterHelp is such a great go-to when you're feeling like this and you need someone to talk to, but leaving does not seem possible. BetterHelp matches you with a counselor who you can send messages to at any time, as well as schedule weekly video or phone sessions. Another thing we love about BetterHelp is that they are committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. 
Plus, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and they even offer financial aid. And that's why for me personally, BetterHelp was such a great fit because it was so accessible and also from my couch. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash WT9. Okay, exactly. okay, 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 yeah. okay. So this is, I think, I think, I'm not positive, but it seems like it oh, seems just say it really as boldly, if. Though. That'll be fine. Well, I'm fucking nervous that like our <laughs> editor will like cut the like the Facebook cut down or the the fucking TikTok got cut it, down. Got it. Okay, so the skincare company Twelve Twelve Gateway or whatever is being sued for thirty million by the business partner. Oh, is that ooh. Catherine's skincare company? Yeah, you're yeah. kidding. Wait, thirty I, million? What? Yeah, so Ace Family and Catherine McBroom, Catherine McBroom allegedly sued for 30 million following the fall of the latter skincare brand. Is it just like damages? But why? Yeah, it would be okay, damages. Okay, multiple customers exposed their products either having faulty packaging, oh. uncomfortable burning sensation when oh, applied. No. Okay, that gets us to like 2 million. How do we get to okay, that 28? Yeah, hang on. Oh, the lawsuit detailed that the former was suing the Ace Family for alleged abandonment. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely being sued. This is this is public information. Okay. Oh my god, 30 million in punitive damages. Uh seeks it in the suit against you. Oh, what does that mean? Shit. Like why would it be that high? I don't get it. I mean, what kind of stock so, did you order? So essentially she like quit posting the brand and quit being a part of it whenever she had things to do for it. Is that a question or a statement? That's a question. <laughs> question. I have no idea. Okay. I'm on like a drama page. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I, no, I knew about the skincare brand. I didn't know that was being sued though. 30 I no million. Idea. I bet it's one of those things where it's like their last year's like sales in total times three to just fucking like settle halfway through. That's what I feel okay, like it would yeah. be. Yeah. Like there's no way, like it doesn't yeah. even make any sense. I just can't believe they're being sued from literally all angles. Also, if I were them and I knew that there's gonna be like an insurance company thing, I'd be like, I'll sue the fuck out of them. Cause I know like they don't have any money, but the insurance company probably does. Yeah. If they have insurance oh, on you think it. About that. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you have insurance <sighs> on your brand. Yeah. So, I mean, you have I'm like, to. yeah, right? No, you, no, you, you do. do. I have insurance I'm telling you, you do. You have insurance, insurance on your company, company right? right? Period. Uh-huh. Period. <laughs> yes. And so basically if someone's like, oh, this burned my eye out and try to sue you, you are you have insurance to cover that. Got it. Mm-hmm. But Lunar Beauty is only the top shit. I mean, period. Yes. Period. That's yes. on fucking period. Yes. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let anything else touch my face. Besides Manny, personally. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Other than that, just like this. Yeah, just like A finger like that. That's nice. So how does foreclosure work? a gorgeous question I, that I think Laura should answer. <laughs> Laura's like, that's a gorgeous question. I think Jerry should answer. answer. Jerry went to college. I'm pretty sure all of you did and I failed out. Why am I being asked this? You don't go through foreclosures mm-hmm. in college. Oh, mm-hmm. you don't? Thank- I don't know. I didn't no, get that no far. Idea. <laughs> Fortunately, zero for four, none of us know how this shit works. Thank God. Thank so, God, so we don't right? know how foreclosure works. I, no. The bank's just taking your house. The bank is That's taking your house. Then they auction it. Just goes off to the person who. The bank's trying to get their money. <laughs> the back. foreclosure. The bank's it, trying to get their money. It reminds you just how little you owned the house in the first place. <laughs> They're like, nah, that's back ours. Yes, exactly. They yeah. take it back, yeah. and you do have opportunities because John, who's covering this, really broke it down, which made it interesting, more interesting because I understood it a little more. But you have opportunities to save the poor. Co- Foreclosure, you can like make a payment. Oh, oh a payment. A payment. A payment. Right. A payment. Of two thousand dollars. The fact that their house is still in foreclosure because they haven't been able to make a, a payment. payment. Yeah, but if the payment's one hundred fifty thousand dollars, that's I mean, hello. But at their size and like how much they upload, With they the should views? be able to make a payment. Yep. Think about that. Yeah, Think yeah, about yeah, that. yeah, yeah. For I the mean, they get their... millions of views oh per video. Yeah, they yeah, should... Is anybody monetizing anymore on their channel? Oh, I don't I'm know. sure they are. There's you no think? like not. There's no like they didn't done anything that would get them demonetized from the platform. Yeah, but I think you can still like, we don't monetize, like we will not monetize this channel. I think you can go like, if you, oh. if you spend enough, you can be pretty specific about like, and eh, not that one. But why would they? I don't know. Why would I they mean, do that? Would you advertise Lunar Beauty in front of Ace Family's YouTube videos? Oh, fuck no. Oh no. Oh, like Maybe they're we need having a hard time getting oh, advertised. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. No, I'm sure someone wants to advertise on their shit. If you want some free, like really cheap views. inventory though, yeah. I know a great place to get some cheap inventory. All of their views right now. Yeah. Oh, Can yeah. you imagine? Slap it on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maddie buys oh. every single ad spot. <laughs> I'm like, perfect. Once again, Maddie Moore from Lure Beauty. <laughs> hey, Ace Fam. <laughs> okay, so I've like uh, browsed this article and I still don't really fully understand what foreclosure is. It sucks, don't do it. Next. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, great. To the next hot take. Um, um, uh, okay, so I want to just talk about just like the whole Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly and Courtney Kardashian mm. and Travis Barker. <sighs> How do we collectively feel about this? Obsessed. I'm obsessed. I think it's so hot. Jeremy? 
How do you weigh in? I think. How do you weigh in on anyone except for Megan Fox? <laughs> <laughs> So how do I feel about Machine Gun Kelly? She has a broken eye contact. (laughs) (laughs) How do I feel about Machine Gun Kelly? I know that you wanted to smash back in the day. Yeah, I was down. Mm. I mean, I think like I'm still down low key. This dude's so (laughs) down. Manny, I don't know how many guys I've heard I brought up before and you've been like, no, I'm not interested. It's it very few and far between. No, it does <laughs> Manny's type is like, moving and above 18. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Manny likes, Manny likes them, oh, them the mature. Older. My next part mature. is mature. Yeah. preferably yeah. above 38. Yes. Or 48. Yes. Or 50. No, 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 no. You can I get a little crazy. Yeah, the closer to retirement, the better. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, the oldest I mean, I've ever been was like, I think 55 was the oldest I've ever been. Was that the Palm with. Springs guy? Probably. Yeah. The Palm yeah, like Springs guy. We talked long about the Palm Springs guy oh, last time. Oh, I remember. Yeah. yeah. The Palm yeah, Springs like, guy. So 55. You know my thoughts? Oldest. You know my thoughts? Yeah, baby. Hit, hit us with it. I think Megan Fox looks, seems, is glowing in a way that I don't think we've seen her in years before. So she seems mm-hmm. happy. Yeah. I, it makes me I so sad. I saw an article the other day. This is outside of like the, how much I just like love all of those couples. Mm. Um, but I saw an article about how she gets so much shit in being the public eye and people being like, um, why aren't you the, Why aren't you home with your kids? And she was like, my ex-husband doesn't get a single one of those fucking comments. And it's not even like, she's like, she's not breastfeeding anymore. Mm-hmm. So there's no reason why she, physically she needs to be with her children more than the ex-husband. Mm-hmm. And I was like, God fucking so true. damn it. That oh, is a major double standard. I, um, mm-hmm. I don't know how I got all the way down here, but I was on her feed not that long ago. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got to so, this oh, I, I was doing some market research that for this so podcast. Weird. It was research for the pod. So crazy. Crazy. (laughs) Half of her posts, comments are turned off. (gasps) Oh my God. And I assure you, it's not because people said nice things. Yeah. Haley Bieber, I actually like the way Haley Bieber does it. She just has it so people that she follows can comment on her stuff. That's yeah. the same thing. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen a couple of others. Yeah. I, I yeah. like that. That actually sounds that like, too. like I mean, if you get a if you get a lot of shit, that seems like a really safe place to yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I think that the next social media will be more private than ever. Like only people that like you let in do not like just ruin your fucking day. So we have no oh. job. No. That's basically what you're saying. No. So. Raya, but for social media. <laughs> we, okay, yeah. And maybe even a little bit less ego. I don't know. No, I just think that like people are tired of like being fucking like abused verbally online. Yeah. I was on a podcast mm-hmm. the other day and he was like, he was like, influencers always come on my podcast and they never want to say anything, but like celebrities will come on and they'll fucking like spill their guts and say anything. And he was like, why do you think that is? And I was like a hundred percent because influencers want to keep something for themselves because they put so, so much online. Much. And it's like, you want to keep a little single fucking crumb of a your crumb. life to well, be private. You've also mm-hmm. built up all these channels to get very close to you. Like Will Smith is not handling his Instagram. No, well, that's what I was well, trying exactly. to explain to him. He, I was like, also these actors and celebrities like do their whole life acting as someone else. So no one yeah. actually knows who they are. So it's like, of course they're gonna go on a podcast during their press tour to promote their movie where there's a completely different character mm-hmm. and tell you what their favorite food is and who they're dating. But an influencer, we just want a crumb. Well, I mean, yeah. like, when we were in New York last week, it was like fascinating to see these like six foot, like beautiful models walking up. Bitch, Lord DIY, I love you. And it was just like so different than like the online, like I think persona of like what we thought people necessarily were that followed you. It's like, oh, there's like adults that are cool in the world that are like very aware of who you are. And it's just very cool to see it. I mean, I had a really young fan base for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And so now I meet fans who have like children and I'm like, my transition, like, my yay. glow up. Me and my like, niece yeah. were talking about this cause she's yes. a big fan too of you. Cause she watched Wait, you, who, who? my niece. Oh, oh. Cause she's 17, but. Oh yeah, so she would have like grown up with yeah. you. But she watched you, big fan of your whole crew and all that. And I was like, I'm a big fan of Lauren because Lauren transitioned. So now adulties can watch her too. Yes. So like we're both fans of you in different oh, ways. Oh wait, that makes me so I fucking happy. Mm-hmm. So we like, were talking about your transition today because I was telling so her funny. I was coming to film oh the podcast. Yeah. That literally makes me so happy. Like, I just feel like I, I, it was so stressful and it took so much time to like eventually transition over because it has to be so gradual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Well, mm-hmm. It's so mm-hmm. nice. Tell Erin I say hi. hi. I definitely. Hi, Aaron. Yeah, say hi. She'll hi. love it. She'll <laughs> eat it <out>. <laughs> we're proud of you. Thanks, we are. Man. We're very proud. Very three, proud. Three fans, all proud of you. We're all three proud. That's- See this? Uh, wait, you see this? You see a little heart? You see that heart? Manny, will you convince, maybe we do this afterwards. I'm trying to convince mm. Jeremy to do the- No. Um, uh-uh. Um, what are you gonna do? The da 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 Glitter, glitter, glitter. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Together forever. forever. With Linda and Heather. And Heather. Got it. You have to do it. You have we to, do, have to it. do it. I'm gonna just keep okay. bringing it up in every <laughs> single podcast because now people are bullying Jeremy because I brought it up in the last podcast. Yes. Let's bully him. Do it. So bully Heather. Him. Heather. 
Heather. Linda. Or do you want to be Linda? Linda? I'm more of a, you can bribe me. Do you want to be Linda or do you want to be Heather? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm flexible. Okay, great. <laughs> Heather, Heather it is. Heather, Heather it is. is. Heather it is. I, I'm more of a Heather. Linda and, and Heather. Heather. Best friend. Best friend. I just saw you do that with Aaron. I just did it with my niece. I and I it. literally was trying so to remember cute. all the parts so hard whenever we <laughs> hold hands. Watch what I do. Grab my hand. I Hold my hand. This is what I did the whole time. I was panicking. I kept my hand and everybody's like, hold that like, poor hold child's hand. hand. How do you say I love you? Like, and she's like trying to hold my hand in it. And I'm just like, the choreography is really <laughs> difficult. Five, six, seven, seven, eight. There is five moves. It's and not die, that die, hard. Die, booty, booty, booty. Oh, glitter, glitter, glitter. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Together. She told it to me one time before we did it and my brain went to overdrive. I was Absolutely. like, oh my God, what is the last one? Whenever I was trying to like, remember back we would do more dances and like TikTok. <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd be like, Laura, let's learn this. And she's I like, can't. I can't learn I can't. it. I'm like, Laura, we My can brain do goes, Vinny, you're pretty good with the TikTok dances. I don't do them. I mean, I haven't done them because like, there hasn't been TikTok dances to do, but I remember I would like sit down and be like, okay, I think I can yeah, do five, this. Because it's like seven, handsy. Eight. It's very handsy. You don't mm -hmm. have to learn. Are you a handsy move. dancer? No, but like, I feel like I can control my hands more because I yes, play volleyball. You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're like in the club. <laughs> Fucking whack <laughs> hand. 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 Actually, you're right. I actually do do, we'll do that. Yeah. I'll just like be like a stupid bitch. Yeah. I do little helicopter hands. You know one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that was pretty good. Not I told bad. you. Not I told you. Not bad. Yeah, you're so right. There was a TikTok dance that had a lot of helicopter. There was like a I phase. Could do that. Yeah, with the helicopter hands uh -huh. were all up in it. That's how I learned how to do it. I was like mm -hmm. TikTok. I was like, how to do helicopter? He hands. sat in his room all night, fucking trying to do helicopter. I did not hands. fucking do that. It's just oh, day day it. day, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Don't be ashamed of it. Yeah, yeah. own it. I, I, if own I your did, helicopter if hands. I did, you know, I if, would have owned you it. If you did, <laughs> I would have. Jerry, <laughs> no, if, if I would have ripped it off. World. If you did. <laughs> Do you see how high his arch is? I want to rip it off. Listen, Botox is working. <laughs> Mine too. Mine too. Mine's really yeah. working. Is it? Actually, yeah. So it's really good for me. But you're all in your, you know, low 20s. Well, yeah, low you're right, right. And we're all yeah, natural. Early 20s. Mm. And we're not wearing any makeup right now. You know, yeah, very no, natural. Just me and Lauren, we're talking about our yes, drops of very glow. Glow. And yes. if you drop onto this video in 10, 20 years, teenagers. Yeah, yeah. So now we're in our low 20s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, yeah low 20s. Right, yes. Low 20s. I saw this meme on Instagram today and it was like, um, they're like, I, I love, it was like a love hate relationship with seeing fitness influencers who are 21. Yeah. And did you see that? I saw it. And I was like, bitch, yeah, at 21, I could fucking eat anything I wanted, drink six nights a week, mm -hmm. eat hamburgers every single day. And that's what I did. And that's yeah. what I did. And I was looking And I was looking great. fucking great. I literally eat a salad every day and I hate every single salad I eat. <laughs> salad? I, 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 I sell to lunch every day. these like $30 salads. Same, me too, that's yeah. what I do. And, and she'll so always like, babe, I got um health nut. I'm like, that's me. Like, fuck I will, I'm not excited I about. I'm hit. not excited about my salad. No, uh, no. but I have yeah. to. But the sadder thing is, I'm like just like I hate it. I'm just like, is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. If it's so worth Jeremy it. smothers his salad in fucking full fat ranch. So Hell I just no. feel as if you might as well just You've eat. You've counteracted it. Yeah, eat you a burger. Yeah. Eat the fucking burger. Just okay, eat the burger. So this is where we're gonna not this this slander here. <laughs> <laughs> We are coming for Jeremy. The truth, In this house, we eat ranch. No, oh, I love we oh, eat ranch. We eat ranch. But like, I mean, a salad has to be like an oil or like a something. It needs to be something like an oil and a grass. And real quick, yeah. how did you just pronounce? Oh. Oh. <laughs> the southern oh. girl. Oh. 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 Well, oh. I just want to know where the I it's is. Oh. So we drop the I. Okay. We pop a little H in uh -huh. there. And oh. it's an O. Oh. oh. Anything like oh. that, like mole? Mole. No, that's oh. that oil. What's mole? No, I'm, that, was, that was my think, fuck up. Think of any word that's with with an I-L oil. and it kind of works What's the like, same so for I us. In, when I was so in like Kentucky. boil, you would say boil. Oh, like, like if you said mole, so there'd be mole. There's two mole. cities that are big-ish in Kentucky, what? Lexington and- I've heard of Lexington. And Louisville. 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 It, well, it looks like Louisville. Oh, that's even Louisville. more so. It's not Louisville. 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 Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Louisville. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, Louisville. hang on. I'm still not past this. So, oh, 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 oh. yes, yes, cruel, yes. yes. I heard a, a thing. I don't know if it's a fact. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> southern accents yes are me. closer to British accents. Okay, they are. Okay, yes, Laura. <laughs> yes. People in LA will be like, "Are you from Britain?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Shut the <laughs> fuck up!" <laughs> like, why are you what? asking me that? No. And this must be where it's coming. Brit yeah. Britain. I'm like, baby, I'm from Alabama. Britain. I, because you drop <laughs> letters. And, and, and the moment she says, I'm from Alabama, they go, I got it. No, yeah, you got yeah, it. There's got no it. mistake there. Yes. There's not a single yeah. question. Alabama. Alabama. No. Okay. And, and yeah. what city in Alabama? 
Montgomery. M- Montgomery. The yeah. capital. Yeah. It's not a big, it means nothing. <laughs> I was like, what's <laughs> that, 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 that This is the second nothing. podcast in a row we've talked about Alabama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why yeah. in God's name else would you be talking about Alabama? We Wait, our friend about, was from- Well, the girlfriend is from, uh, from Alabama. Alabama. She went to Auburn. Mm. What, what girlfriend? Uh, my husband graduated from Auburn. Not we're, Roll Tide? Oh, we're Roll Tide for the day are. you die. It's roll Tide. We're and the it's roll hardest tide. Roll Tide fans you will ever like. Tide. We are diehard. As an SEC fan, okay. I just I just adopt you guys for football season and then basketball. Oh, you know, it means nothing. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Not, not, I mean, you know how it's like college football. Right. Is like everything. What? Mm-hmm. And the SEC just keeps winning. Well, Alabama, Alabama. Alabama. There yeah, it is. Totally. There it is. She, okay, she's a. <laughs> it's a fact. Roll Tide fans are a, a different kind of fan. It's a yeah. fact. Truly. It is, it is. We have the highest paid coach, Nick Saban. He is the best football coach in college football. Um, we it's always true. have the top drafts. Uh, yep. We always get the best picks. And yep. it's a vicious cycle, which gets talked a lot about in college football because also, people are like mad. Sorority girls in Alabama were very, very cute. Freaky. <laughs> oh. Back in the day. They were what? Back in the day. I said they were cute. They were what? Were cute back in the day. They were cute. But go ahead and drop your letters below if you are from University of Alabama sorority. I think I would have thrived <laughs> as a sorority girl. I, I think you would have done would have so well. Yeah. You would have been like really the one Asian girl at, in the sorority in Kentucky, <laughs> yes. for sure. You it was like, oh, I, I didn't mean Kentucky. I just meant like in, in, in sorority yeah, in but general. Like the, the fraternity sorority thing is very different than North and the South. It's very different. Mm. Oh. What's the difference? Uh, more racism. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, just general. In the South. Just general. Yeah. Not ex- well, I was no, talking, yeah. literally last yeah. night, I was talking about how in, I would throw these parties. <gasps> I've heard of that. Antebellum parties. That that's a thousand. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Remember yeah. the Bachelor? The Bachelor? Oh, yes. 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 Well, to be fair, I didn't ever go to a big college and like experience that, but I had never heard of that before. Oh, the yeah. antebellum parties. Yeah, I'd I never had, heard had of no that. Idea. I didn't. I didn't. I literally didn't know about it until the bachelor bachelor Same. girl got Same. into the. I mean, yeah. these people would still refer to the Mason Dixon line as a thing, as if that hasn't. And I want to remind them, y'all lost the war. Yeah, you know that's done. Yes, move on. Yes, move on. Here we are. Three. How was Kentucky for you? Fun. Okay. It was like different than what I was used to. Okay. Would I live there? No. no but like, I, I would love to visit, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. And that's all, ma'am. Oh, we're going to a wedding in Kentucky. And like, as a Canadian, it's one of those things where I'm like, I never envisioned my little Canadian self down in Kentucky. But like Lexington in the right season at the horse track and everything is very much like- I mean, it's nice. a Kentucky wow. Derby, that's a thing. Are you and gonna have sweet Manny, tea you would there? be a star there. Have Why do you tea? say that? Well, there's a lot of- Elaborate. Um, hmm, a lot of people that are looking to find themselves in Lexington. <laughs> yes. And- <laughs> And you could- oh, okay, okay. you okay. that so many would be the, the catalyst the for their sexuality? Uh, do you remember in the Bible- the gateway it catalyst. Says, gateway, yeah. fucking thing. It says to be a fisher of men, right? <laughs> yes. You could be a shepherd mm. and wow. just bring them on back mm. to Los Angeles. Cast Anthony. that net out, Oh baby. my yeah. God, I'm sending you to God. Lexington. No, like oh, that. I'm, the if kid I walked, scale is if very I walked into there. the bar, I don't know if there would be the girls like who'd be like actively excited about Manny or the guys be like, like, huh. Oh, I, I need to go to Lexington. Well, howdy, sir. And, wow. uh, yeah. No, like that? <gasps> Wait, I would literally live. Yep. <laughs> if yeah. that was like, like you howdy, melt. sir, I would like literally- You ain't from these parts. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I would fucking die. <laughs> I would fucking die and like- He's like, choke me. <laughs> like, like, man, dude. Like, I would fucking like, die, dude. If someone, if, if like a Southern gentleman, like man, like kind of big, Burly. Keep going. Get more that. specific. It's getting <laughs> more specific. Like it's getting a little honed in. If you said that, I would just faint away. Uh, at any point in time you want to hop on down to Kentucky, we will go out. Lexington. Yeah. Lexington, Lexington. I have to remember the word. It's Lexington. not <laughs> that. It's, it's like, pretty popular. Remember, yeah. It's okay. pretty popular. Nashville. Nashville. I've been to Nashville. Okay. And? and? Recently, and I really liked it. And did, did you? I really liked it. And did you? Did I walk? Okay, I went for a show. I was doing the, the Snapchat show and I was oh, there right. for that. Oh, that's right. Oh Okay, what a yeah. flex. Okay, got it. No, that, I need to give a reason <laughs> behind the fact that you Oh, did you? It was literally the Snapchat show about people coming, coming out. Coming out. And like uh, five of the six stories were in Nashville. Mm-hmm. So that's why I went and if you and just I was go there for like 11 north, days. 13, 15, 20, 2,000 more right there. What is? Lexington? Nashville's below Kentucky? Yes. It's I don't know anything Alabama. about- and uh, then Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee sits on top of Alabama. Yeah, and then Kentucky. Well, anything about geography. Huh. Yeah, me it's too. It's geography, right? <laughs> Literally, Today? we're like geometry, <laughs> astrology. Not ge- it's not geology, right? It's Ge- I, I, I mix up those. Rocks. The rock study rocks, yeah. and geography. Like I rocks. Will, especially with the little 5MG, like the THC, the 5 little thing. Uh, little 5MG, little 5 milligrams. I'm gonna forget the geology and geography. Mm. Very nice. I did it with astronomy and astrology. Oh, 
Absolutely. Yeah. Is that not the just, same thing? Just wait for the internet <laughs> no. to rip you a new one for no. that one. Oh, God. <laughs> nope. Wait, it's not? <laughs> no. Uh, what? Anatomy study of stars. Astrology study of the zodiac. You say anatomy? I still don't know. Did I say anatomy? I did have to quote out, dude. <laughs> Anatomy, the study of stars. The study of stars. As long as the stars are on your ball side. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Holy okay, shit. Absolutely. Next piece of tea. Next piece. Oh my God. We're not even addressing the tea. We like say one thing and then we go down the longest tangent. Fortunately, over. we're going to do an episode on their channel so we can get to yes. some topic. Yes. You know what? I'll just like, I'll just It'll like get there. mutter a few words and I'm sure we'll end up down um, a new a rabbit world. Rabbit oh, exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Tillies, one thing we love more than you is helping you save money. I thought that was good. I know, go, I was, was like, uh-oh, I was like. <laughs> I don't know about that, I don't know about that. No, we love you a lot, but we also love when you save money. We love you the most. We love you the when most. When you're saving money. We, oh yes, there we go. We love you the most when you're saving money. Um, seriously though, we know how tough it can be when your online checking account balance is running low and the last thing you need is a $33 overdraft fee. Well, Chime is here to help. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card that has saved its members more than 10 billion in overdraft fees with Spot Me fee-free overdraft. Eligible members can overdraft up to $200 on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no fees. For me, Firsthand, when I was a little bit younger and just moved to LA, I was spending maybe a little bit more than I had and it was very stressful. Now, when my friends do move to LA, my number one recommendation before anything is to making sure that you take care of your finances and it starts with Chime. Chime does things differently and is here to help you. Overdraft fees have gotten way out of hand. In 2019, traditional banks took 11 billion, that's with B, B billion, bubba, billion dollars in overdraft fees. As in bubbies? That's in bubbies, a billion bubbies. Of, oh, a billion oh, bubbies? A billion bubbies. You'll see, that's great. Oh my God. If only the banks were doing that, but a instead, billion a billion bubbies. dollars. Your dollars. A billion of your dollars. No, 11 billion of your dollars in overdraft fees. Chime does things differently and it's here to help you. You deserve to have financial peace of mind. Join the millions of Americans already loving Chime. Sign up only takes two minutes and does not affect your credit score. Get started today at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by Bancorp Bank or Stripe Bank N8, members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements apply Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. Chime member overdraft fees based on eligible members' use of SpotMe versus $33 average overdraft fee. Overdraft fee data based on bank rate checking account survey and CRL June 2020 overdraft fees report. Keeping your home safe is extremely important in this day and age, and having an outdoor camera system set up has changed our lives. Right, Lauren? completely agree. And I feel like I can just relax so much more without you being here. And um, Bubby's is just not, he's not the guard dog. No, actually, you know what? For anyone listening, he is a guard dog. Yeah, he, rip, We got a good off. camera system mm -hmm. and he's a great dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I also love knowing that I can check the cameras every hour, every every couple minutes, when, whenever I want to. Well, and we've got good news for our listeners. Simply Safe just launched their new wireless outdoor security camera. That's right. Simply Safe, the system that US News and World Report names the best home security system of 2021, that's big, just got even better. The brand new outdoor security system is engineered with all the advanced tech and security features you want to keep you and your family safe. The Simply Safe camera has an ultra wide 140 degree field of view, 1080p HD resolution with an 8X zoom and built in spotlight with color night vision. Turn up. That is seriously all the bells and whistles. It also is super easy to remove and has a rechargeable battery so you can place it anywhere you want. I'm telling you right now, when you wanna go back and watch how weird your dog just acted when you <laughs> walked inside, this is a great place to start. That's all I'm saying. To learn more about the exciting new SimpliSafe wireless outdoor security camera, visit simplysafe.com slash wild. SimpliSafe is celebrating the new camera by offering 20% off your entire new system and your first month of monitoring service for free when you enroll in interactive monitoring. Again, that's simplysafe.com slash wild. <laughs> Manny sex tape? No, oh, it's not a thing. I don't do that kind of thing. Manny. Oh wait, okay, here's a relevant one. Addison Ray under heat <gasps> for pronouncing Versace. Wrong. Oh yeah, because it was Versace, Versace. What did she say? Oh God, Versace. And it's Versace. Yeah, and so she was I at the show it's... with- <gasps> with Oh, at the yeah, show. Yeah, she was at with the Donatella. show. With Donatella, yeah. And <laughs> I she think was it's dumb that. for her to get like attacked for that though. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Is she from Alabama? Shit. Yeah, 
Louisiana, right? She is from Louisiana. Louisiana. But same difference. She's from the South. Uh, so, Maybe well, actually, Louisiana is a little different, but it's super, super, super Southern. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Because yeah. she's got, I feel like, got the same, like, she sweetheart does. twang. She, she does. does. Yeah. She does. And, How would um, you say in Versace in the South? Oh, I would fuck that Versace. shit. Up. Would you say Versace? I wouldn't even know what that was before. No, I was no, 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 no. Versace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versace. 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 Well, you got Versace. Know, in, in Kentucky, there's a city called Versailles. Oh, in, oh my God. Oh, wow. As in Versailles. You know, oh. but they pronounce it Versailles. Oh, I would say Versailles. I think it's in Bourbon County. Um, when I moved here, Bourbon County? my yeah. friend lived That's off like- Wilshire, and I said Wilshire. Wilshire. Yeah. Wilshire. Oh, I, oh, I did one of I those. I would say Wilshire too. Oh, yeah. okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Kawanga. <gasps> that looks tough. I used to live on the so weird. I know. I remember. I, and I didn't mm-hmm. know what the word. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. What S- was the one? Sepulveda. Sepulveda. She's like Sepulveda. Yeah, like they're they're just okay, hard. You sometimes. guys are making me feel better. Then I feel like it's oh, just yeah, like it's, yeah, it's oh, yeah. normalized yeah. not knowing how to fucking pronounce any and every let's, word let's ever. Thank Please normalize you. that. Yeah, Lord yeah. fucking would used to get ricked for that shit. I but did. also all the time. Uh, uh, normalize friends correcting people, not just letting Absolutely. them look stupid for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like anatomy and astrology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not to circle Man, back I on that one more time. Exactly what I said. I will never. Hold back from correcting you. I of assure course you all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how you know I'm mad at you. Like you say something stupid, and you're like, you're oh, like, I don't know why I said that. And I'm like, yeah, don't know why. Don't know why you said that. What did I do to you? Are you okay? Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> are you like that when you know someone's mad at you? Do you have to? How do, you have, do you have to know immediately why they're upset with you? Are you like? I like to know why. Immediately. He has to know immediately. I want to know exactly why. Immediately. What I did. Okay. And if you need time, great. Take your time, but I need to know what happened. You can hear it in the, great, take your time. Take your fucking mm-hmm. time, sweetie, like, take your okay. fucking time. Which no, one, but like, but I want to know why. I'd rather be like, yes, I am mad at you, but I need a sec. Like I'd rather hear like, yes, uh, and so I mean like, no, I'm yes. not mad. And then actually be mad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, I don't like the like underlying mad, like, oh, like, it's just like kind of bubbling. I need yeah. like you to, like, I need to know what's going on. Okay. I'm, it's cause now I feel like I'm a really good communicator now mm-hmm. when it comes to like my emotions, my feelings and how I'm feeling for everything. So I feel like I I like someone that is also going to be very communicative with how they come across. Mm. I also don't want to like guess how to approach somebody. Fuck, I want no. to be like, that's annoying. That's work. Yeah. That's, that's a full time job. Like, also, that's why I love you know not being I don't know in high school. You, yeah. if you don't like hanging yes. out with somebody. Don't fucking don't. hang out with them. Yeah, oh, that's like that's like the hard thing about high school is that it's like you get into this like weird like thing where like you almost have to hang out with them because you don't want to be alone, right? Or like that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. High school sucks in that capacity. You also sucks. have like forced friend groups. Like you have yep, a absolutely. very like a subset of people that you have to find little clicks with, and mm-hmm. it's uh, yeah. Okay, high school fucking high, sucks. High school, Manny. High school. I, I want. What were your your things? We're like, um, I think we'd be opposites. We were, we were opposites. Opposite. We would school. not have been friends. Mm-hmm. He, okay. I was like literally failing every class. I was skipping school all the time, getting oh, drunk. Very popular. Oh, oh yeah, I had tons of friends. Mm. <laughs> My husband Party. though, he was like, cause we met in high school. You guys met? met in high school? We're yes. from Alabama That's right. guys. That's right. Of course. Right, uh-huh. right, yes. right. Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. It all makes sense. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Bless um, your heart. He was he was he was like loved by everyone and straight A student and like Manny. So you were the one that corrupted him. Uh, yeah, I, I dated a couple assholes, and I was like, "Fuck, do I date this guy?" He's like, "He's gosh, nice. He's nice." Oh, what's wrong red with him? Flag. Right? Yeah. 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 Red, red flag. Yeah, red flag. Very red, red flag. flaggy to me. So I was like, mm, "I don't know," but I was a shithead. Well, and so did he? Not. Did he flip you, or did you? Did you flip like like? I think he flipped me mostly. Like I think- Wait, and so did you guys stay together through like men never school? broke up. <gasps> what? Yeah. You were a statistical anomaly. Yes. Mm-hmm. We started mm-hmm. dating at the very, very end of our senior year. So I pretty much went through all of high school, like fucking around. No, okay. Not like being a hoe, but I mean, I did have a lot of boyfriends, but you know, like enjoying my life and like partying nonstop. And then, but the thing is we partied so hard together too. Oh, so you didn't like that. miss like a chapter oh, of your no. life or anything. He like yeah. moved away and went to college in Auburn for an engineering degree. Really? And like, yeah. And I couldn't get in college because I was a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. We we, <laughs> we heard your resume earlier. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so <laughs> You were busy. You I were was yeah. very yeah. busy. Yeah. So I actually ended up getting into college later and filling out. I shouldn't have gone. No. What do you mean? Why? I just I shouldn't have gone. I don't know. Yeah, I but did, it wasn't did, for you. Right, but like now you know. Now mm. I know. I think people need to like, it's okay, it didn't work out. Okay. No, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like people get really like, it's like, it's My like college dropout. I have seven eighths of a college degree and I'm constantly interviewing people for jobs that are starters that have 14 degrees from the nicest ridiculous institution and they have no experience and no life skills. And I'm like, 
Oh my God. Mm -hmm. What are you See, doing? I'm, I'm the other person with like all the, cause I've street tried smart. and done everything. Very street smart. Like yeah. tried, done everything. And I'm still that way. I'll take street mm -hmm. smart over. My over, husband's done over not. Book smart. He's book smart. So Strictly. Yeah. There's not an ounce of common sense in the yeah. man's head. <laughs> not I bet he can sit <laughs> down <laughs> with the information instructions to do something he doesn't know. Let and me he'll tell learn you. it. Oh, Let me tell you. Meanwhile, I'm like, can I just see pictures of what it's supposed to look like? Him. That is him to like a T. I feel like you went to college. You seem like a smart person. That is so nice. You seem like you went to college. So I have a degree in um, printing. So <laughs> I got my degree, baby. So like, tell how us, does this happen? Tell us more. And tell the name of your university. So, so I actually am now um, X University because the name of the university, like, the guy they named it after, it turned out to be a really fucking terrible dude. Oh no! So oh they God. stripped the name of it. And wait, actually, remember the? So I was literally just telling Manny and Laura about the whole residential school situation that's uh -huh. happening oh, in Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, fucking insane. Horrible, like genuinely uh, j disgusting. And so yes. he was, I think very much a part of, oh. Oh, yeah. oh, so anyway. Um, a big advocate of that. Deservingly okay. stripped of his title for the university. And so now I have a degree from X university. Love that energy. That so I yeah. didn't know printing was a degree cause I feel like I could have made my way through with Bitch, that me, yeah. either. Yeah. me either, me either. Shout out Gutenberg. Shout out Gutenberg. Dang, you go girl. Shout yeah. out Heidelberg. A lot of birds. Printing. A lot of, the a lot of good Jewish yeah. men. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah. I have a degree in printing, which is super, super useful working in digital. I love that. For yeah. You. Yeah, super useful. Yeah, and same. When you were in your middle of your party stage, what did you want to be? Um, Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I to be, let me tell you, I never drunk. I never <laughs> had like an actual plan. And so I was like, but, but I was always really, really, really independent. Like I always made my own money. I always had jobs throughout yep. high school. Like always, always work, hustle, hustle, hustle and did my own thing. Like my mom's didn't, my mom didn't really give me rules. She was just kind of like, you know, you're gonna live here forever. You'll figure it you'll out. Figure it out. Yeah. And that was like her method with all of us. And I figured it out. So I got a friend to get me a job at a medical assistant office and they train you on the spot. So I was like, fuck yeah, I don't have to go to school. So <laughs> I was a, I cut mm -hmm. out skin cancer for this moron, cut out skin cancer and like dermatology, medical assistant. You cut out skin, skin cancer? cancer. I would trust for four you with the sharp blade. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. One time my friend- I feel like we're not, I feel like we're not sitting on how intense this is. And we're not giving this enough uh, <laughs> Every I scrub up, I used to scrub up and yeah. The next, someone, Guaranteed in this podcast has an appointment tomorrow to see if they have skin cancer. Like if I walk Wait, in- Wait, so are you the friend to go scalpel, to to be like, does this mole look weird? If your mole is changing, you do need to get it checked. Okay, period. okay, okay. I'm but scared, I always uh, read that, but I'm like, what if there's a mole in my body that I can't see and I don't I know it. no what worries. it's looked like? Get someone to check it for he you. He doesn't know what- That's what I'm scared of too. Like what if I have one on my head? And I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, you, you can get a full body check of the dermatologist and we even go all through your scalp. Down to your, you get butt naked and you lay on a table and we check oh. you head down to the increases under your titties in between your ass cheeks. Like nope. we check. Lost me there. Yeah. <laughs> between I, your ass here's cheeks? the crazy thing. I worked there for four years and I never got a mole check because I was like, bitch, I ain't doing this. It's too, it's too invasive. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Y'all fucking crazy. <laughs> As I'm supposed to be the medical assistant. I never got one. Still haven't. So are you, are you we squeamish? No, no. At and so all. on your podcast, we're actually going to strip down. Yes, yes. we'll do a mole check. We'll, we'll do a mole check. Yes. 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 How to mole check. And that'll be on patreon.com backslash. <laughs> Full Many coverage. Lauren, Lauren, yes. Jeremy. yes. Yes. <laughs> Rolls up a tongue. Wait, yes. holy shit. That's so wild. So yeah. I did that for four years. And then I was like, wait, I don't think I can do this forever. Like it's like. It's too much. And this was in Alabama? Yes. Got and it. I was working like a lot. Cause you know, if you work in medical, like you're gonna it's work. The hours it's are like yeah. insane. So I was working like a ton. I was like, I was like, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll quit and be like a famous YouTuber. <laughs> 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 I think I'm gonna do that. And my husband's like trying to finish up his engineering degree. We're just dating at this time. He's not my husband at this time, but I'm like, Ty, I think I'm gonna quit and like be a YouTuber. And he's like, I'll help you do it. Wow. Wait, that's so supportive. Yes. Yeah. And like, so he's like trying to, yes, he's Seriously. like trying to study for this huge degree. And I would drive up to his college town and be like, can you film me? Swear to God. And he would like stop doing what he's doing. And he would oh like my help. God. Yeah. Keep her. Yeah. True love. Yeah. Seriously. Every girl that's Obsessed. listening is like, what the fuck? Where is Ty? <laughs> no, everyone, I literally, I always like, I'm like, I want a Tyler. I always say that. I say, I want oh my God. Tyler. And is there, yeah, have you guys talked like, about it? Is there a world where we could just share that too? I talked about it with Laura. There's no word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. There's I no always one. say, I'm like, actually the thruple. Yeah. yeah I, I always say that. Yeah. Because I thought you were our thruple. 
Hmm. You're a flexible throuple. I'm actually throuple. very, very, very I'm, I'm a hot commodity, so I do a mm. lot of throupling. You're a throuple hoe. Mm. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Absolutely. Two friends. Get away, got it. A boyfriend's, I'm, I'm in it. A I hoe get for it. a throuple. Absolutely. A hoe for a throuple. The thing is I am very like independent mm -hmm. in general, and I've never even like had a, a boyfriend, boyfriend. So for me, it's like, would I just have no friends if they were in a couple? Like, no. I got it. Wait, are you, cause I saw on your podcast, you've been on a few dates mm -hmm. and so we're talking about one of them. And so we have stopped pursuing him, but like, are you actively trying to date more now? I'm now I'm saying I'm, I'm definitely a more. Yeah, that's like, what I'm it more sounded open like. To dating Wait, what was reals. the switch? I just feel like, I don't know, time. Like, I'm like, I feel like maybe now that I, I have like my, I always felt like I was like, I needed to like wait for me to have my shit together. Mm -hmm. But I feel like now I've had my shit together for like a while. And I'm like, okay, now I can actually put more focus on How many people in the world can say they've had their shit together for a while? Not Good for yeah, man. People. Well, thank That's you. Awesome. must be fucking but, like, nice. Stop, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> no, I do know what you mean. That's yeah. huge. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate that. The self-realization like to say you have shit together, it's cool. Things are yeah. like, I feel like it's like stable is what I mean to say. Like very yeah. just like kind of chill. So I feel like now I'm like, well- Ever since you've been on our podcast? I think, think it's looking stable? up since then. <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait is. for my future it's now. Wild. I know. Things it's only go wild. up from here, baby. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I will so say I feel like that, that idea uh, turned into a real thing very quickly. What? You were like, I don't know if I want to do it. And then like last, like next time we saw you, you were like, I have a podcast. It's signed. It's moving forward. We're doing stuff. I tend to be that kind of person that's very like, if I have a goal, like I'm like, okay, we're going to Well, no, literally the next day you texted me and we went back and forth a whole bunch and mm -hmm. you asked a shit ton of questions. Mm -hmm. Once again, weird. I wasn't in that group. Oh my God. Maybe respond. This is right. like, like it's sad, but also really cute at the same time. Like oh, Jeremy God. texts no one back, like literally no one. So people just go through me to like reach him now, which is like, do I love being an assistant for Jeremy? No. Right. But, but on his phone, I'm the only pinned chat at the top Aww. of the text messages. That's cute. She saw that. She 2021 was like, romance, baby. I'm like, she, she saw that. And she goes, Am I your only pinned <laughs> message? I was like, Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, got it. I actually texted Jeremy recently. He never responded. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker does not text back. You're so right. My job's a little hard right now. <laughs> My job is I so literally don't hard. care. I don't have time to text anyone. I also have like four phone numbers now because it's just like personal and then people I don't want to deal with, people I do want to deal with, I'm people so I can't. I'm so popular. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, that's literally what that sounds like. Yeah, really cool. Must be so hard. All right, let's, let's go I back to the high school sweethearts vibes. that turned out into be perfect couples. This yeah. is perfect. amazing. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh huh. And so you've been together how long? Uh, 12 years. Okay. Yep. And we have something very close and in common. We, There's someone who's adopted in your life. Oh my God, my niece. I'm adopted. No. Yes. Oh, shut up. That was like the one tip that I took. I was like, that's adorable. Ty's mom was adopted. That's oh, really? really? Yeah. Wow. His wow. mom was adopted. I, I checked my 20 or my like family tree DNA again shut today up. for whatever reason. I'm more Jewish than I thought. No. Yes. Oh, that's 3%. Oh, 3%. Oh, oh my God. Thank you guys. Yeah. What's your What's your main? <gasps> White. British. That's right. That's yeah. what I was expecting. Like, but United Kingdom curious. area. Yeah. So like, essentially from the South. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. the same thing, right? Oh, yeah. I, oh, I oh, liked oh, to oh. conquer things I had no business conquering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Were you adopted? No, I'm from a like the most nuclear family that you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My parents are still together. Oh, Only child. Mine too. Like, Wait. But we haven't ever told the story about how, um, remember the time your uh, dad was told that there was an Asian woman visiting someone at the hospital? This oh is my, my God. favorite story. Oh my God. So my my mom's, hang on, no, no. Who was, who was in the hospital here? And backstory, well, go ahead. Okay, so yeah. So my mom is Asian, my dad's white. Okay. Um, and so like my mom's family obviously is also Japanese and my dad's family also, you know, is white. So when my dad's dad was in the hospital um, and so, white, white guy in hospital, mom Asian. And so my mom worked in healthcare. And so she sometimes after work would go stop by to go visit my grandpa, just say hi, pop in, whatever, visit for a little bit. And, and then, that was her father-in-law. One of her father-in-law, okay. yes. And so, you know, just go visit, pop in and then head out. And so when my dad and I went to go visit um, later on in the day, someone was like, oh yeah, like there was, there was um, an Asian woman here visiting. And so we're just like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, whatever, go see my grandpa, go home. And at dinner, my dad is like, um, yeah, did, did asking my mom, was your mom, did Nana go to visit grandpa today? So, because like my mom's mom, Asian, obviously Nana, Asian. And we were like, no, like why? No, Nana wasn't visiting grandpa. Like, I don't, like, what do you mean? And he was like, well, they were saying that there was an Asian woman here visiting today. And we were trying to piece together and we couldn't figure out who it was. And I was like, you fucking idiot. It's me. I am, I am the Asian. I am the Asian. And the, I am the rogue Asian. I am the rogue Asian. Frank is the one person in the rogue Asian. I don't see color. And my I just dad don't literally see it. just doesn't Blue see race. Forgets his wife is literally Asian. Doesn't oh see color. 
God. He's like, I'm calling up there. Something's uh-huh. going on. Lily's uh-huh. like so trying dead. to solve this fucking mystery. Yeah. Who's this creepy Asian Who's woman? Who visit my father? Wow. And just like doesn't see race, forgets just, just, just the most unbiased human in the world. You know, it's beautiful. Oh, that's that beautiful. That's beautiful. That's it's beautiful. beautiful. No, no, no. Beautiful. We were like, you fucking idiot. But like also like hilarious. <laughs> but kind of cute. But kind of cute. Also, but, but more just like, did you forget your wife's Asian? It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. But no, uh, yeah. So uh, long story short, outside of that little blip in my family's <laughs> racial organization, <laughs> parents are still together. Only child had a very- Only child? Only, both <gasps> only children. No, so I know yeah. too, Jeremy, what? I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. he's, got, he's got like a slew of like half siblings. Okay. From, like, small, other, a smattering. But you smattering. were like raised by yourself. Yeah. I was, yeah, single mom raised me. Yes. Oh, yeah. no way. Mm-hmm. Donna, shout out Donna. Shout out Donna. 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 She's not listening. No, she's Donna's not, not she allowed to listen to the podcast. Oh my God. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. my you God, know, no, like, no, no, no. Second three, when we made the joke about Manny unhinged his jaw, that's when Donna would have logged off. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, or, oh, or, or the oh. Jesus tramp stamp, Donna would. Donna yeah, would Donna, like Donna, like me and Donna would get along yeah. so well. <laughs> <laughs> she just loved I me. Say, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is this something I can listen to? No. Oh no. How about this one? No. Oh, can I listen to this one? No, mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. But at least I don't have like the she's inquisitive. She's pure. No, like, the, like she's, she's if pure. I tell her no, she's like, great. Great. I, I'm okay. not. It's so like, there are certain moms I feel like would be like, well, I'm gonna watch anyway. I'm just gonna find, I just am not happy with what you did. She, mm-hmm. if, if I tell her you don't want to see it, okay. Doesn't exist. That's that's harmonious though for your guys' relationship. Totally. Yeah. Like that is that is in everyone's best interest. That's but like her way of accepting. Yeah. Totally. But also yeah. I think like single moms who raise guys without like a father figure, I feel mm-hmm. like there's certain things it's just like a little bit of a miscommunication. Just okay, we live in different worlds. <laughs> we don't right. speak that same like everything else <laughs> right. is good. Like yes. am I afraid of bugs? Yes. Am I just like <laughs> stereotypically I feel like I was more like moved towards, oh, I understand how like the female's perspective works a little bit more. But there's certain Do things you? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like yes. you do. I do. I do. I'm, I'm just kidding. You really do. do. You do. You do. I feel the but feminine I, energy. I, you know what though? I okay. almost. I don't know. <laughs> like the Donna. jeans are a little tight. Little okay. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> little pink boy. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Last time you were I here, it out. no, 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 it's, it's, it's really not, it's, it's really not, not as anything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we were just talking about, so remember I told you about how Jeremy bought the wrong um, tinted moisturizer or whatever. Yes. And oh. so I was trying to explain undertones and I was like, I'm like a yellow undertone and you're a pink undertone, you're a little pink boy. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so wow, I don't know why that just sucked yeah, me. It's fucking is, hilarious. It started, out, it started out, you're a pink boy. And then back when we used to do the coloring, I would just hear in this room, you're a fucking pink boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to color correct. I was like, you're so fucking pink. <laughs> I mean, at a certain point in time, we should just start like drawing a line between us in pictures and coloring one side for you and coloring one for me. Like this, like us on both sides is not, like one of us will have to skew a little unnatural. no way. I assure you, it will not be my side that looks good. I mean, you're more tan than I am. I was gonna say, you feel like you guys have different undertones as well too. He's pink. He's pink. I'm like actually more neutral. No. Manny, do we start a spinoff podcast called Pink Boys? No, I'm telling you, I really naturally am neutral. Let's start a podcast between you two, Little Pink Boys. Little Pink Boys. Little Pink Boys. Little Pink Boys. That's like a rap group. Cause they're so yeah. tall. I mean, what? I'm not tall, but you're so tall. Like we're taller. But you're both tall. So little pink boys. Little pink boys is works. funny, yeah. Uh, listen, wow, send me the paperwork, pod. done. Love Lunar, it. Lunar Beauty Ooh. launches a podcast. <laughs> because by the way- <laughs> Lunar pink boys. I, I'm a pro with the- um, th- um Tinted moisturizer. That, yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a tinted moisturizer. I genuinely feel like Thanks. we could hang out and talk for about seven hours. Yeah, I know. Think, we I mean, we're gonna need to do another episode. Like here he was prepping all the shit just in case we need things to talk about. We didn't talk about a single fucking thing. Note. I mean, we literally had like what, two of you the- You try to get like a blurb things? in about it and we're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally we're like, so how do we feel about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox? Didn't even fucking answer the question. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> we're uh, <not. laughs> That's how <laughs> I'm like, Fun, if yeah. I answer that question, I get hit. And then, you know, the, that, that's it. No, like it's, it's it. That's it. The double standard is so real. Isn't it terribly yeah. tough to be us? It's so mm. crazy to be a straight white male yeah, in America. Yeah, it's so hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly, not, it's not like I'm a Latino gay boy. <laughs> I can just see Manny out the club, just I'm gonna go fuck bitches tonight. Okay, imagine. We can't imagine. I, we can't imagine. Manny, if he was straight, would be a ladies man. I, I think so, maybe. I think so. I think so too, I yeah. Think so. I think so. I can yeah. Manny's charisma when he's navigating social scenarios is unlike anybody I've ever seen. I don't yeah. know what you're talking mm, about. Yeah, it is. And you also, what does it mean? Are you kidding? With me, if I don't like you, like- You're gonna know. 
you're gonna know. <laughs> you're gonna and know. I will try. Like you. The thing is, I will try. <laughs> yes, she'll grit her teeth for a little bit. But you are gonna know. But, and, but also, that's that's like <laughs> the little. southern. Like I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yes. You just know where I'm think, how I'm feeling. You know how I feel. But, you but will also, always know. That's that LA face of just like hi. I don't have the LA face. Mm. Well, because you moved here at 25. Yes. Oh yeah, that's yeah yeah. So like that's, it's deep ingrained in it's me. It's stuck oh. in your DNA. Uh -huh. I am who I am, and I feel the way I feel. Did you have culture shock when you moved here? Yes. I also talk like this whenever I moved here. So it's shocking to me when people say, like, I can hear your country accent. I'm like, really? I don't even oh, have yeah. one anymore. When you came in downstairs, and I, was, I was like, the South. The South, no, here. The oh. South has arrived. Oh yeah. No. I don't even hear it anymore. I really don't hear it anymore at all. I get completely. shocked, but. Oh no, it's like, it's crystal clear for me. Wow. Yeah, crystal. I'm Canadian though. So like people still I say that you, I sound different. You enunciate really your words it, extremely well. It's like the further north you go, people announce stuff so much more. Well, it's like, how much like more can you fucking announce? Diminishing returns when you keep going yeah, up. If you keep okay. going, it goes it's a little yeah. to fizzle it out. It, yeah. it, it, it sounds twangy. We were just watching a show okay. the other day. It was like, it almost sounds Irish when you get yeah. like super no in the depths of like, of Northern Canada. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah, it's really interesting. Or like the hockey bros of all of Canada have like this very specific, um, Twang's not the right word. It's like slang and like enunciation. Vernacular. It's their own language. Um, yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. I'm right. actually a huge Manny's fan like, of Canada. Like vernacular. I love Canada. Not really? All my favorite comedians, tons of singers, all from Canada. Every person I've met from Canada has been so delightful. I've never met a Canadian I didn't get along with. Wow, I love this reputation for us. I like love Canada. Like I love everything about it. I've only and been there one time and I had a great, like there's nothing mine negative. Mine was great too. I have I zero went. negative experiences. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this is great. We'll just keep this picture perfect yes. um, idea. It's great. Right. Yeah. I can't think of one person off the top of my head from Canada I don't like. Me either. Wow. Me I only, either. I feel like I don't like really know you though. <gasps> Well, I'm glad that I'm a shining star of Canada. You are, this is you're a beacon. Um, Sam is about to rain hell upon <laughs> you. And I want you to know that here for the D is from Canada. And you're right. he just oh, said, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, you're like the only person I've ever all. Okay, but in real life. Sam, Like in real life. If you Sam, know Manny from Canada, you, you like fucking love you, period. <laughs> I'm so a little high from the real one. Her and, but, I, her and um, I have talked to me like, oh my God, Toronto, we're like Toronto, Toronto. <laughs> yeah. She's honestly fucking great. Yeah. I feel like she gets like a bad rap, but look she's at her, awesome. No, like all my friends from Canada are great. And oh my God, no, but it's funny because like my friend Anthony no. and Sam are both. Hey, we'll give you a little, that. go ahead, talk to them all. It's fine, go ahead. I love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell. <laughs> This is so cheesy, but I texted Matt Kang super late, like almost like inappropriately late last night to have sent my follow-up text. And I was like, man, it's just so great that like the podcast introduces us to like new cool people that we would never introduce to. And he sent me back a really cheesy, sweet message as well. Aww. And I'm feeling that same feeling right now. Yeah, I know. Oh not my for God, you, we have but for <laughs> Laura. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much. She has that way. People like Laura. She's great. Not all the time. I mean, yeah, but I, people, I, I love that though. He does better. Like, I don't want to say getting people to like him, but he like, you do a good job at what you do. You're very social. You're very good at what you do. Well, I feel do. like we and talked humble. about this before, like malleable. Humble, of course. Uh, I'm very malleable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we yeah. just talking about personalities? What? <laughs> <laughs> malleable in a sponge. It was a sex joke. We'll just, oh, it's God, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that word means. Malleable? malleable? It's, like yeah. it's, been, it's been Never deep. heard it in my life. Like flexible. Malleable. It's like you can he make is, it move. I'm not, I am Movable. who I am. Mm. I am who I am. And some people maybe they don't like that. Maybe they love it so much, you know? And it is what it is. And I don't change my personality. Or I'm not saying you change your personality. All right. But, no, but I but definitely, not again, not. I'm malleable. Yeah. Like I, I yeah. can definitely like, I read the vibes. Yes. And like, I go with those vibes. I tend to go with the vibes. If it's more chill, I'm going to be more chill. If it's more hyped, I'm more hyped. Like it's yes, up. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. you do, mm -hmm. you do. You're, you're a little good. social butterfly. You are, you're I social think, yeah. butterfly and you're really good at it. Which is it. weird because I'm more of an introvert, naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that probably means you're listening more. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah maybe that's why, because I do, I'm more of an observer and then I act like the way I want to mm -hmm. observe in a mm -hmm. weird way. There should be a series where it's just dropping Manny off it, with like no one that he knows <laughs> in 10 very in ten random places. All friends, yeah. every time. Can you imagine? Every Matt, time. Manny over there just doing cake stands with the frat bros like, <laughs> I, but see, I wouldn't be doing cake stands, but I would be doing, I would like, I would be doing the stuff that they would be doing. Right, right. That's like when I did this real life. Holding I, like, the I, hose I, to I their face. the vibes of the house. I'm the viber. The what, the what house? This real life. I did like this real life recently. Got the it. what, the what life? Uh, it's like a, sh it was like a show on uh, MTV back in the day and they okay. were revamping it and I'm one of the eight house guys. <gasps> That's cool. In it, thank you. So I'm one of them, but like you'll see in the show, I'm not gonna say too much, I don't even know but, um, I'm very like go with the flow vibes compared to like other housemates. Right. Right. Oh, you're you more like rigid. I would be grand survivor. 
I in fucking, that way, but I'd not, be dead. Not the if, if he played not the, the oh, game yeah, yeah, yeah. on Survivor, he'd win the whole game. But not the food. I've watched so many seasons. Okay, this brother? dude would eat people alive out there in the social oh, yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. I would do pretty good. You'd do fantastic. Ooh, this is a dumb, stupid question, and that you're not gonna have a, like red, like real. Those answer are the for, best questions. If you could be on one game show, which one would it be? Survivor. Really, sure. I She's love obsessed. Survivor. She's obsessed. I love. I'm like a big fan. I like okay. contemplate if they would let me on the show. <gasps> yeah. Oh That's my god. Great. And could if you you're do all those like Survivor? challenges and stuff? I could do all the challenges for sure, but the eating thing is where I get hung up every time. Mm. I don't know if I could starve to death because I feel like I would start beating the shit out of people. Yeah, the hanger is real. And that would be like 30 minutes into the show. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. you know, I need a snack. I get it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I get it. Like that hunger must change you. And can you it imagine does. if like they gave a tomato to somebody else but not you? <gasps> oh, oh yeah. she's, black, she's oh, blacking out. She's yeah. blacking out. <laughs> she's blacking we out. Lost her. <laughs> we lost her. We lost her. She's seeing she's red, yeah. literally. <laughs> it's it, was not too, good. it was too far. It was too far. And you I want to apologize. You took it there and it didn't need to go and there. I want to apologize. Okay. Yeah. She <laughs> will black out immediately. I get it. I get it. No, it's a little salt for you. Can you imagine like, all you have to do guys is eat a pickle. Man, you're like, we're out. I can't. Yeah, sorry. When I really? Did, you couldn't when eat I did a pickle? the reality house, when I did the reality yeah. house though, I literally bit into an onion, like as if it was an apple and I would, I ate the whole onion. Do you guys it. like onions? No. Me either. No. I hate, no, me either. I hate it. Now I'm like, I threw it he up. He doesn't like onions either. But like, I will do it. Like if a challenge calls for it, I'll be like, okay, let me He's like, the most competitive so person competitive. I've ever met oh though. My God. He's so oh. competitive. Ever, ever met? Like I you would say you're like- That's a little you should have fucking seen him in the airport in Hawaii. Oh my God. I mean, we were just sitting there. I don't even know what the story is. I'm not kidding. We were playing and like, it was a quiet, we were playing on the quiet room. We were playing on the switch. And he would hear every 30 seconds, fuck you. Yeah, I am not The absolute bro that Manny turned into. Oh my God. You want to play again, Super Smash bitch? I'm like, what the fuck? I did not see that. You were aggressive. You're so competitive. You turned into a, a frat bro. You are so competitive. Okay, you're right. I do turn to a kind of frat bro. You tell I them am, now. I am competitive. I'm not gonna lie, but Mind I'm you, you're good at stuff. Competitive person oh, ever he's yeah. met. He's good at everything. That's why he's competitive. Oh, suddenly yeah. you want to be competitive about being competitive. Yeah. 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 I'm humble. Are you guys <laughs> competitive? Like in life? Uh, are you guys competitive? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty competitive. competitive. Yeah, I'm pretty competitive. I think we're both, for them, like, we certainly, I'm sure, both go in like too far, but I think we have a healthy amount of like competitive nature. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we are more competitive with ourselves than others. It, to each other? So if you guys like are playing a board like game with a group of people, would you get really competitive? This fucker's gonna like <laughs> go black out. This fucker. <laughs> I think my defense mechanism when I start losing is to like- Pretend you don't care. Is care less. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, no, it's Absolutely. so fucking annoying. So like, for example, if we're playing Monopoly deal and I'm like, it, it's just like <laughs> looking really good for me and it's not looking great for him. He'll just like start like, like he'll just like start like, like not play, trying. Like not try. Yeah, not trying. And I'm like, let me win in a normal, normal way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like a form of competitiveness. It's like a form of being competitive. Yes, yes, hundred percent. Okay, but if the other option was me getting upset, you wouldn't like that. Yeah, but can't you just lose like a normal loser? Sometimes. <laughs> Like a normal loser. Lose like a normal loser. Like a normal loser. That was my, the love of my life, Lauren. <laughs> For the caption person, that was Lauren, the love of my life. Can't you lose like a like normal, a normal lo loser? loser. <sighs> <laughs> Weenie. I'm not competitive not. actually. She's not. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those nice. you can be a little bit, don't but care. not like, you don't really care. Mm -mm, just here for a good time. I wish if I was I lose, I'll be the loser, I'm fine with yeah, it. Yeah, but like every friend group needs one of both of you. Yeah, they yeah, do, that's and true. that's probably why we get along. Mm -hmm. could, you guys, could you guys vacation together? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've done it so many times. We've traveled the world together. Like you guys could start a business together. You could mm -hmm. do like, I feel like we you are- We could do a podcast, like we can do these things. Yes. We're opposite on like so many things. So what's the dream? What's next? I don't know, we just started. <laughs> you're like, started. We're like we just started. We just started. We did that six episodes. Okay, but mystery box, like anything open, you, heart's content. What do you want? Hmm. I would love if we did like little full coverage merch. That'd be cute. That'd be really that's, cute. That, dream big, dream big. That's, the, that's like next bigger. week you'll oh, do bigger. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But four well, merch companies go, okay, got it. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> like, oh <laughs> shit. Dear Lord, okay. Yep. I don't know, let's start a full coverage store, brick and mortar. Brick and mortar. I love it. What are you selling? <laughs> Lifestyle, beauty. It's like, I mean, it's gonna be like a Forever 21 vibes, but better. Uh, they filed for bankruptcy recently. Yes, yeah, so like, I, I don't know. Zara. We, we can, Zara. Zara. Okay. Zara gets a little Let's, here for Gucci. a Gucci. Whenever we're on your podcast, we'll have that part figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 
I mean, yeah. well, if, you ask, if you ask yeah. us the question, we go, um, uh, uh, exactly. another dog. <laughs> like, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know we're doing it. I don't know. <laughs> Right that is so funny. Exactly. You yeah. wouldn't even know too though. But who knows like 10 years ahead? I don't know. Oh, fucking I, I the, in interviews, I'm always like, what they're like, what's the goal for five years? I'm like, bitch, I don't even know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Like, don't, like that's such a serious question. It's too much. And the I, only thing I worse than, than that is somebody goes, I'm glad you asked. And just like walks oh, through the, like, oh, true. fuck yeah. 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 They have their that's journal written down. Yeah. Like, 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 oh, just goals. don't have it together yeah. like the rest of us. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. 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 We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Honestly, I've had so many plans, like so many ideas. And it's literally my life is like so different from any of those ideas that have ever happened. So I'm like, what's the fucking point of me? What am I going to do in the next five, three years? <laughs> like I'm no. going to be on fucking Mars probably living. Like, yeah, but like you manifested exactly what you're doing. Look, I want to be a famous yeah. YouTuber. Is it's a true. famous YouTuber. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's true. There's it's a couple true. people it's that true. have that idea right now that yeah. did not see the same um, success that you did. I yeah. saw nothing but like I saw a straight line and there was nothing else in the mm -hmm. way. You were like, I guess I'll just be famous on YouTube. Like literally, and I lived in <laughs> Alabama, not in LA, and I had that right. idea, mind you. And this was back in 2013, yeah, you know, when, when she was like, Candy yeah. Johnson and Bethany fucking Moda. Bethany Moda. Yeah. 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 Fucking Chris, what was his name with the hot dogs? I want healthy food, not hot dogs. I'm sorry. I don't think I, I watched that channel. <laughs> yes, you did. You did. Chris Crocker. Chris Crocker. You did. Chris Crocker. It's a hair flip. It's a hair flip. It's a hair flip. I have no it's idea. It's a free Britney please. like meme from back in the day. Bitch, free Britney meme. Please. Do you remember that? No. Okay, tonight you're gonna go on YouTube. Okay. Oh my and god. You're gonna get in a deep well. I was only Chris Bethany Crocker Moda. best of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chris Crocker best of. Okay. okay well, on that note. <laughs> is that how we're ready? <laughs> yeah, that we're ready. <laughs> a little homework for the Tillys. I'm so excited. This is gonna be fun. We have actually we've never done a well. No, we did two parter. It would do a two parter, yeah, but this will be a two parter at some point eventually. I'm not saying it's gonna be better, eventually. but it's not not gonna be better. Mm. Exactly. Eventually, it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Eventually, in like a couple what, weeks. A couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, that's eventually. Like, like 2022. You guys have done five episodes. Eventually, it'll happen. <laughs> I'm like, like, I guess. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> no. They're like, what are you doing next like week? The, the, the sketch. Like, the sketch. We could, we could do it tomorrow if you want. Like, okay, guys. No, no, no uh -huh. we scheduled in uh, third week of October. Third week, third week of October. October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys will be heading on to full coverage. I'm and. The studio will, is is up. Will be up. You know what? It's like coming together. It's coming together. It's it actually gone like, a lot farther. No, along. it sounds like we're to break bread over some tablecloths. So like, no, 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 no. no. Don't it's picture much this. Cuter. Don't picture no, this. No, no, this had no. many evolutions. This okay. had many, okay. many evolutions. We're one. stage one of evolution. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I think ago. that your stage one is gonna be cuter than our stage one. Our stage one was a little rough. Um, I want to see your stage one. No, you don't. Baby, episode one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, episode one. Yeah. I'm gonna scroll down. The audio, the lighting, the background did not look like this. It did not. We've come and a we long way. we thank you for sticking with us. <laughs> <laughs> Even through that time. Thanks for coming guys. Thank you oh, so thank much you for coming. Good to meet you. Fun. Yes, likewise. You guys were so much fun, seriously. You were fun. I, I was nervous, but then I wasn't because I watched you guys' podcast and I was like, there's no way it's not going to be great. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> oh my God, well, I'm glad that we, we like say. met the expectations knowing no. that it's really scary. No. No. Also, I also like, like hyper up a lot with you guys. Though, he does. I, like, he's like, like every time he says your name, he's like, they're great. But also, I going into this podcast, like oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, and then like two minutes in, I'm like, I'm good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. I literally said, I was like, come, just walk in the house. I'm on the couch. Like I was, oh, yeah. yes, literally, we were zombies. Uh huh. We're Laura's dying today. By now. Yeah, I know. I go. I'm like mm -hmm. in my Wild bed night. at eight thirty and like asleep Wild by ten thirty. Wow, wow till eleven. Wow till eleven oh nine, baby. That's late. Crazy. False, false advertising. Eight fifty nine. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.